Okay, so <clears throat> this is farthest frontier. I've been looking forward to this one for quite a long time. There's a lot of there's there seems to be a whole bunch of city builders or colony builders coming out this year. And this is one of the ones that I've been looking forward to. It comes out here on August 9th. I have been granted an early look at this thing to check it out, to show off to you. Um, this is similar to something like Banished, where it's sort of a survive, you know, move, move into the wilderness, survive the wilds, uh, survive the winters, survive the bandit raids, and prosper, basically. Um, it does have sort of an RTS little aspect to it. Uh, people, you can see them banging on the door there, and we can control our soldiers, move them around. So that that is in the game. Uh, I'm not entirely sure where it plans on going and how much that is important in the game. Uh, there's different tiers of your of your city, so you'll start out with little wood shacks and you move up to fancy brick shacks. And um, by the way, it's all being made by Crate Entertainment. These are the uh, the Grim Dawn folks, and uh, it's going to be hitting early access here on the eighth or uh, the ninth. Uh, I have played a little bit of this. I watched the dev, uh, or one of the devs anyway, stream this from a couple weeks ago, I guess. So I got I get a bit of an idea what's going on here. And uh, I thought we should check it out. I'm looking forward to it. So we're going to see how, how it goes. Idyllic to brutal. Yeah, we got invaders coming in. Uh, uh, old timey diseases, right, right. We have diseases. We have to keep an eye on, like, soaps and, uh, and not make sure people aren't just dunking their heads in the river to get water. Um, and... Uh, Keeping things, trying to keep the place, you know, uh, alive. So, let's try it out, shall we? Uh, we got three different uh, difficulty tiers, or if you'd like a little more uh, um, advanced settings, you can select them all as you want. But we're gonna go just, we'll go down the line. Um, we do have hostile forces around. I guess it's just sort of like a, a, a number of how often they're gonna hit us. Healthcare adversity, um, and. Uh, um, yeah, we'll leave it as it is. Town name, we're going to go with Rodentia. Oh, that's good stuff. We're going to go with Nookstone. No, Rodentia is good stuff, though. Uh, as far as terrain, you can do a random map. This is all procedur procedurally generated maps. Uh, if you do a random one, it just throws out, it just spits out um, random stuff. Uh, or you can pick a, a, uh, a type, if you wish. Um, I don't know. We can probably go with, like, I don't know. Have, you know what? We should do random. Let's, let's do random. But anyway, that's what we can choose. It's Alpine Valleys, Plains, Lakes, and the Arid Highlands. From the dev talking on the stream, uh, Arid Highlands is kind of an interesting one because there's less water. Uh, soil fertility is an important thing in this game, and trying to make sure you balance crop rotations and stuff like that is, is a thing. Um, and that's a difficult thing, obviously, in the Arid Highlands. But we'll go random. And uh, we're going to go with a small map just to make sure things are nice and smooth here with an alpha build. Uh, there is a pacifist mode if you want to play uh, casual mode. But no, we'll go, we'll go normal, but see how it goes. Story time! Life can be harsh everywhere. But in the old world, there was no hope of it ever improving. When our crops failed, the ruling class would still collect the same share, leaving our children to starve. And if we had any coin to our name, the taxman would appear, demanding it for the crown. Nobles hid behind the safety of their walls and did nothing when raiders pillaged the outskirts of the city. And so, some of us decided that it was time to leave, that we'd rather take our chances in the wilderness, seeking the promise of a new land, than starve to death in our homeland. The journey wasn't easy. We lost many along the way. This wild, unsettled land offers us the hope of a new start as the masters of our own destiny. Shaky, shaky. It's a very pretty game. We'll see that when we get into this. It's got nice, yeah, nice hand-drawn art there with the, the opening thing, but in the game is is quite pretty. <clears throat> so, you know, we start this thing out um, pretty much as any other colony builder as far as I figured out. Uh, plant down our, our town hall, chop some trees, mine some stone, uh, pick up some berries, and, uh, and, and then prosper, basically. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, we'll go over the UI as soon as we get into this thing and uh, try to make sure we know what we're doing. Between this one and uh, and Manor Lords, what's the, there's there's one more I can't remember the name of it. There's there is one more uh, city builder or colony builder that's coming out that I that I'm I'm eager to be playing. 
Um, but the name escapes me. But this is one of the ones I'm looking forward to, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, we finished scouting the area. Survey the land your villagers have explored and choose a promising site to construct your own your, your, your town center. So choose a spot near some resources like clay, iron, and potential food sources. So <clears throat> as we look around here, uh, you can see these little circles here, and these will tell us like like there's stone there. It, it, I mean, that's iron. I don't I don't really know what these these are. Iron, maybe that's stone. Uh, we got looks like some animals over that way. <clears throat> We could try something that's got stuff. Looks like a pretty flat and boring place that has. I think we got an arid spot because there's no, there's no water. Uh, watch out for wolves. There's a bunch of wolves over here. We stay away from that side of the world. Uh, looks like there's a bunch of. It's got to be iron, right in there. I think. Actually, those look like little peppers, don't they? Oh, they're plants. Okay, plants. Um, lots of uh, something going on over here. I think we're just sticking this like little valley here. A bunch of stuff back there. I don't quite know what all of it is. There is no water on this map. Uh, the map is actually bigger than what I can see. We can send scouts out to go check it out. Ooh, that's a cool mountain. It'd be cool to be at a base of a mountain. Um, what is that? That's a, that's, so there's, there's a lot of iron right in there with, with the two chevron things. Uh, we're going to have to make sure we get some food, I guess. There is some deer over here. So I guess we're going to be hunting deer. Let's go. Uh, let's go right here. Right there. Yes. Prazzle Razzle. Thanks for following. Alright. So. We're going to get to work. Hacking on this town center here. It is kind of a... Uh, I guess if you leave it at 1x speed, it is kind of a slow-paced thing. Um, I haven't got to the really scary bits yet. Uh, as you can see up here at the top, we got, it is early spring. That'll kind of scoot its way along. Uh, we have nine months worth of food stores in our pockets. People are unhappy because they don't have any houses. We got 12 people in town, no house availability, and villagers are not sick. Supplies are up, up top there. Um, first things is chopping trees, getting rocks, getting firewood for our homes, uh, getting food supplies, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, let's go and get... We got this stuff. We're going to grab some, a few more trees there. And a lot of this, a lot of this stuff... Similar to what I was just playing last night with Ostrov, um, is very, it seems to be very, uh, very, um, macro managed rather than micro managed. We, you know, they, they seem to kind of take care of stuff they own. We build a building, they manage the thing, they go in and work it without us having to, like, tell them to do it. That kind of thing. <clears throat> Aquatico, yeah, that, that, yeah, that's the, uh, the underwater one. Yeah, yeah, I just saw that one just the other day, I, someone mentioned that on Twitter, I think. Yeah, that one looks pretty good, too. So, we'll, um... Oh, it's raining, raining. What's this? We're short shortage of wood, we're waiting for our town to get built. I'll show a couple things here as we look in on our people here. Put their coats on. We can click on this guy over here, old Ruthard. So we can change Ruthard. Ruthard, his name is going to be... Uh, um... I mean, what? Prazzle Razzle. What a name. Prazzle Razzle there. Now, because he's Prazzle Razzle, because I... Added him into the into this list now, and he's in the village. He'll be here until he dies. Um, he's also going to be like in my next games. Prazzle Razzle will will be back uh, uh, amongst the name list. So I need to, we can tell him to move around if we want to uh, force Prazzle Razzle to, to do things, you know. But we'll let him do his job. Hey Jeff, how's it going? The fridge is hooked up. Uh, 80%. I still have to get a water line because Best Buy gave me the wrong one. As Best Buy does, you know. Expected. I can't get mad because I'm sure I did the same thing when I worked there. Ooh, Prazzle Razzle almost got fried. <laughs> uh, is it done? It is done. Okay. Um, well, there we go. There's our town center. It gives us a few, like, you know, things that it wants. Basically, what we want to do, though, is get some food and all the supplies. We don't have to do this. Uh, let's get a, uh, a hunter cabin set up first. There is some deer over this way. I think I saw something. Yeah, there's, looks like pigs. Yeah, pigs. Deer and pigs. Well, I like deer and pigs. So we're going to eat some. I'm not sure he can reach both of these. I hope he can. So I'm going to put them right there. So hunter man can go back over there. Uh, these are berries. Empty berries, so I guess they'll grow in the summertime. We'll put our... Our, uh, what do you call him? Our harvester. Our berry grabber to go get him. 
That's why I messed up my friend's PC, so now she's getting her custom-built PC. Yeah, I worked there for, um... Seven years? Eight years, I think? All that time was in the computer department. Then I went and moved over to... Merchandise, which was great. Merchandise at Best Buy was great. People ask you questions. Oh, I don't know. I just do the merchandise. You have to ask that guy over there. Um, I just put things... I just make things look pretty on the shelves. I loved it. <laughs> um, but... It's good times. Nope. Yep. Speed up here and let this thing get to running. There are these things chopped. So we got a, a hunter cabin over there. Let's go ahead and get a few of these important things live. There's the forager shack, which we'll need for those berries. I need to turn that down. It's noisy and exciting. Uh, I want to get. I got to find out what these things are. A lot of these buildings in here. Let me slow it down. Um, so we we can make a well. We can make a firewood splitter. If we want to make, say, a compost yard, what do you do with your poop? You put it in the compost yard. But in order to get it, you have to have a saw pit. In order to have a saw pit, you have to get a stockyard. You know, and it sort of goes its way up to furniture workshops and breweries and glassmakers. And I think all this stuff is here. I'm not actually sure. I haven't actually been that far. There's a lookout tower over there. Uh, we want to get a... Where was my log? My, my wood splitter guy? Stockyard. Resources, right? Wood splitter. Let's just throw him... Uh, is, it, is it okay to put him over there? Maybe we just, like, stash him right there. Uh, there's a housing shortage. Let's get some houses put up. Firewood low. Yeah, it yells all the time. Uh, let's get in a few houses here. I'm not sure how many of this holds. There's a desirability thing. There's also a fertility is a big part of the game. Uh, people want to live next to s certain stuff. And this is what, what decides um, how quickly they, uh, they upgrade. So there's a desirability of 8% here. Go ahead and put it down. We'll do another one over here. I think rotate is... Yeah. I'm not entirely sure how many of these actually hold. We'll put three in for right now. And uh, when we when we get the house, I'll, I'll, I'll show it off and we'll see how that, that works. Uh, don't ask me any computer questions. My computer expertise uh, is, is consists of Pentium 4 and AMD Athlon. Uh... <laughs> The uh, vo Voodoo uh, graphics cards. That's 3DFX. That's the good stuff. Uh, that's my computer knowledge. <laughs> uh, I knew a lot uh, back in 2001. 2004, I guess. Building has no firewood. Well, it's going to get here. Uh, old, um, old Kelsa was over here. Again, she took the job. She's out working on it. Um... And she, she's splitting logs. And then those get, those will get taken wherever they need to go. Uh, Hunter Man is out working as well, which needs firewood, apparently. Uh, and, and then she, Mir, should go and do some pig hunting and deer hunting. Our houses are going in. Oh, you see the house is down. So the houses have a, a desirability. Once it hits 30%, then it will upgrade to a, to a building level 2, tier 2 house. And we get some bonus happiness and all that. And they also, I think they... I think they want more stuff also as they as they level up. It looks like it's three or four people per house. No, I was never part of the Geek Squad. Um, I like I like I um, I was actually there whenever Geek Squad became a thing. It was just the tech booth. Um, but I'd like hang out in there once in a while, but assist a bit. But mostly I mostly no. So that last house is almost there. Let's go ahead and mark a couple more trees to get chopped. We got these here. We'll clear out this this area here. Last people, the last thing people want around their house is trees. So we'll get those out of here. Windows XP. That's right. My proudest my proudest moment at Best Buy was I sold I sold a joystick. Um, to Barry Sanders, uh, Detroit, Detroit Lions running back. That was my that was my big moment. Uh, these berries actually ready to pick. Let me go get let me go get a uh, um, a berry picker. I want a forager shack. I guess I want to put it over there. There's probably the most berries. I'm a little worried about food just because we've got. Oh, actually, there's a bunch over here. Let's do this. 
because I have no no water, uh, run, I hit R. Don't hit R. Uh, forager Tim. Yeah, I think I think over here is fine. Here we go. So they can get some berries. We can't do roads. Uh, I don't remember where they are. There's walls we can put in there. We've got flattened terrain. Roads are there. Oh, this is kind of double space, and so maybe I shouldn't have. Um, let's go like uh, road over here. Oh, it does kind of have like a curve to it, doesn't it? Oh, neat. Look at that. Just do that, you know. Um, <laughs> nice roads. Come out here, and and uh, we'll go like a little bit straight, and then curve our way over there. I like curvy roads. Barry Sanders pro, one of the one of the best running backs ever. Just got hurt all the time and had to retire early. More people await uh, word to join your settlement. Amass four-month food supply and six houses. So if so, to get new people in town, uh, you can do it the traditional way, or you can do it the the uh, migrant way. And um, I think there's two ways of doing this. Sometimes you'll get things that are like, "Hey, do this," and then we'll come in. Others are like, "You may or may not come in if we you know they ask, can we come in?" And we say yes or no. But if we get a four-month food supply, we've got uh, eight. Um, some spoilers going on with all the food, those foods we're making, and we need six houses. We got three, so we can yeah we can do that. We need more people anyway, so let's go ahead and get some uh, houses put in. Throw one in over here. Uh, don't hit R. Uh, over here. Frightening. Uh, too slow or too steep. There we go. Ah, that's off. Uh, cancel. There we go. Okay. This is a uh, a colony builder. We've we've trudged our way off into the wilderness, and we're gonna try to not die. People are very happy. People are ecstatic. They love this place. Firewood's a little low, so Sally over there, or, or Kelsa needs to get to work. Um, I guess we can upgrade this at some point. Can I do it now? Oh, I can. Emma can go work on there. Yeah, there we go. Uh, winter time is coming. We're in midsummer right now, which the berries are out. Uh, winter time's coming, so we probably shouldn't dally on our firewood. Um, we need uh, one thing. We our houses need is they need wells, which I saw them before. I don't know where I saw them. There's a graveyard. I'm sure we won't need that. Resources? Resources. Here we go. So we get a basic well in here. We need stone for this. Let's look at a good enough spot anywhere around here. So we'll throw this guy, like, right there. We need five stone for that, but I think I got, I think I have stone. Yeah, I got plenty of stone. A little short on logs. Uh, I don't think, this guy, is there a, um, this is not just like a logger, is there? Not yet, anyway. They sort of do what we, what we tell them to do right now. So we'll mark a couple more trees. We got those up there on the edge. We'll get these over here out of the way. Why build a cemetery when you can just build a butchery? <laughs> Stockpile time. That's the that's the one I'm looking for. Yeah, thank you. You see me missing something? You you, you shout it out. Uh, where is it? Stockyard. Uh, I suppose we could put it over here with the logs and the food and not the berries are. You think? Or should we throw it? The, um, the dev, when I was watching them play, seemed pretty insistent that the stockyard be be within reasonable distance of things. People are going to be walking back and forth, you know. They just uh, haven't heard of the other colonies, otherwise they'd be... It would be fleeing. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ross, who draws? Thanks for following. Ross, what do you draw? Or 
Where's she going? In such a hurry. Oh, it's Kelsa. So she got she needs she got diet, warmth. Is there something about shoes? Oh, shoes are down there. Shoes, she got shoes, she got clothes, she got uh hide clothes. She's a tool person, or she has tools, I guess, for her job. And she's got food in her pocket. Um she got warmth, she's got happiness. The only thing she's missing is beer. And has some health. Whoops. Sorry, Kelsa. Sorry, sorry, I need to click on you. Uh, the well is uh is running. We can upgrade a town hall. I not I guess we need to get another a market built and 30 people and one more house and we can we can do that. So we got six people who want to want to uh want to immigrate into here. Sure. Come on. Uh Come on in. We should probably see them running around. Did, we, did they come in already? They might have actually come already in from the road. Uh, let me get you. you. Not both of you. I want, yeah, just just you, you done. Let's go take a look. We'll explore some of our uh, some of our land here. Oh, we got a baby. All right. Well, that's exciting. So Udon's gonna take a little look around the place here and see if we can find some water. No D and D maps. Oh, that's exciting. Do you draw by hand or do you use uh, like a mapping program? Bustling market would help generate gold and attract new settlers of our, to our growing town. Market stock houses and generate gold based on the number of houses in their work area. Okay, trying to help me make a make a. Okay, I'll come back to you, Udon. Let's get ourselves a market, which is going to be in here. Oh, thanks, Ross. How do we get a market? Storage cart serves as a place to store goods produced by the settlements. Is that what we want? Forger shack, fishing shack. There's a crop field. There's a smokehouse over there. Maybe, maybe it might make things last longer. Give us some variety. Um, I'm not entirely sure where the market is and what we, how we get it. Oh, there it is. Requires what? Requires a saw pit and a storehouse. Okay. We saw that before. Saw pit required a stockyard, which we're getting. Okay. Udon, let's go take a look. Josh Reno, thanks for following. Or uh, uh, anonymous. Thank you for uh, thank you for the sub, for the gift sub. Hydrate. All right. Lots of berries over here. There's uh, like a triple chevron of gold over there in them Daler Hills. Anonymous. Thank you very much. Uh, I guess there isn't him, maybe? I don't see him anymore. I'm not entirely sure how big. This is the small map. I'm not sure exactly how big it gets. Looking pretty arid, though. Let's go climb a mountain. Why don't you come over here? Where'd that mountain go? We have a mountain before. Dude, food stocks are a little low. Uh, I think it's okay, though. It's We're just going into winter. It's fine. <laughs> There's some deer over this way. Lots of coal over here. All right. Udon, top of the world here, buddy. I guess we must have lost our line of sight because we walked over here. But we know the mountain's over here. There we go. Yeah. There we go. Let's take a flag up there, Udon. Oh, there's more gold in this mountain? Oh, we're going to be rich. You see anything on this side of the map? Yeah. Cool. Cool map. Really pretty game. Okay, come on back over here and get back to work. Uh, okay, so we've got 
uh, 20 people in town. We got food stores for two. Um, oh, sorry, you're hydrated. I forgot about that one. Um, the storehouse is done, right? Yeah. It's very noisy. Uh, so now we can do our saw pit. Workyard where sawyers cut logs into planks. We'll keep it over here by, this will be like work, I think we'll have work land on the side, and you see what the, the desirability and what it does to things. So right now they're at 11, but if I come over here, it gets real ugly. And it'll be next to this guy. So I think I'm actually going to stash him back this way. Heck over there. Takes a lot of wood. We got a bit. Uh, we have two food to go into, two months worth of food here in the late autumn. Seems like we probably could use a little more than that. I'm, I'm no frontiersman. I assume you're working. Near. I can't uh, get another person in here. To upgrade you, I need a, I need a town two center. I can retarget your your radius if I need to. How do I know how much you've you've made? Now you've made a go. You've made a bunch of stuff. You're doing fine. Okay. Yeah, you're doing you're doing good. There's a, speaking of a deer, there's one right there. A doe. A deer. This is an early, an, this is an early dev key that they give me to show off a little early. It comes out on the 9th. Uh, water source is here at the well. Which could probably use a road around it. There we go. Dev Bluebug, thanks for following. <laughs> okay, the saw folks are a saw in, uh, which means we can now make the market, which it wants me to do, so let's go do that. Uh, and of course, we can always buy stuff if we have real troubles. We got a Fletcher building for bows, uh, we got a compost yard for our poop. Um, I know we have to manage that because if we don't manage our poop, then diseases are a thing, and we don't want that. Uh, a root cellar, a storage cart. That might be actually handy. Store food at a reliable temperature, reducing the rate of spoilage, because it's nasty spoilage. Where was that? Uh, that, uh, that was, it, was it here? I, f I forget where that, where that market was. Storehouse, root cellar, stockyard... Smokehouse. I'm, I'm, I'm missing it. Was it in here? Tannery, Cobbler, Fletcher. I know it was in here somewhere. Where where was it? Somebody help me out here. Pit. Um, <clears throat> Field, smokehouse. It's got an old... Uh, it must be in amenities? It's right, uh, there. Requires what? Oh, storehouse. I'm gonna store my house, my storehouse yet. Okay, storehouse. Store all items. Let's put that right here. Need more wood? We'll chop some trees. That'll keep them warm. Get to work. Everyone's sitting around here doing nothing, just waiting for that. We are out of food. Um, I think we need a second, second hunter's hat cabin, I guess. We had so much at one point, but it all spoiled on us. Dries and curious meat and fish. We're extending how long these foods keep before spoiling. I think that would have been better to have. Because we had, at one point, we had a ton of food, and it all spoiled on us. So let's try, like, stashing this guy back here. Prioritize that if we want. Over there. The hunter was still is still hunting. So. <clears throat> and this one? Oh, long time YouTube follower here today. I saw you playing Steam Live Clan Folk. How is that? You are live on Steam playing Clan Folk and playing live on Twitch at the same time. Yeah, a lot of those, uh, a lot of those Steam games, they're not live. They are live recordings. I, I don't know if. I've done 
like maybe two where I was actually live on, like live live on Steam, but usually they're just recordings. Recordings of live streams from just a few days ago. Oh, sorry, sorry. Those wolves are noisy. I'll have to go get them eventually. More trees being chopped, which we're making that. Uh, this guy is next. Once that's done, we can get our market. And hope that no one dies. Who are you? Kasparov. How you feeling, buddy? Oh, he's fine. 50-year-old Kasparov. He's got some smoked meat in his pocket. He's great. Jump these trees over here. A little deforestation simulator here. Get all these trees out of here. Okay, we made it. We made it to year two. Game over. I quit. Go out on a high note. The storehouse is done, and I think everything's just pretty much yeah. Everything's set up. Uh, we may need to make some barrels, I guess. Which we'll figure out who does that. Uh, once the smokehouse is done, we'll get that. Uh, there must be some sort of carpenter or something that we make that does that. Or a, um, what's a, what's a, what's a, um, what's a barrel man? What's, what's the name for that? What's it called? There's a word for it, but I don't remember what it is. Well, let's go ahead and do the market, because that's the one it was telling me about. Uh, was, uh, I'm not going to forget it this time. <laughs> the market was in... Not storage. Amenities. There it is. Okay. Take some some planks. Uh, this does actually increase desirability. Everyone wants to be by the market. So, yeah, we'll put a market right over here. Tuck it in here next to everybody else. Put it like right there. Uh, if I go like that, I can get one more house in there without a road. Grimbell, thanks for following. Starvation in the winter, cholera, dysentery. Yeah, yeah. Um, if we don't put our poo somewhere, we may be dying of dysentery. Who's a real problem until until summer hits? I think though. I can always move, or was it? There was a button. I can move her her zone. I think she's fine though. And I think we just had too much. Oh, check it out! There's a, a traveling time marker on there. Reduce by storing raw materials closer to manufacturing, keeping basic needs like food and water closer to homes. So it'd be like we should just take our food. I guess she runs it over here to the storehouse. I'm assuming is where it goes. Maybe maybe to town hall. Um, and then back back to work. She's doing her job. Those planks in here at fourteen. We'll get thirty of those in here and get our market done eventually. Um, ooh, it's bloody over here. She's been doing something, man. The lightning. To wake you up. Fifty-eight percent happiness. Ah, they're, they're they're fine. It's a little food. Not happy about everything but food. But once we get that smokehouse going, they they will love life. Dorn is in here, unable to work because, um, I guess you're missing meat. So I can say what you make smoked meat or smoked fish. We don't have any any fish, uh, and there's no water on this map. And I think you're right. There is no mini map. Uh, oh yeah, we can also set up. I forgot about this. We can go and just mark an exploration point, and so our guys would just sort of automatically make their way over here at some point to to scout it out. We'll see if we see someone come over here. Is that what you're doing? No, you're looking for food. Uh, it's udon. Boom. Yeah, moving to destination. There he goes. So he's gonna go. Oh, I know. Never mind. I clicked wrong. I keep doing that. Yeah. You don't just is built. Look at that guy. 
It's like, what's his face from the Umbrella Academy? <laughs> oh, man. Rough, rough life. I guess it's okay. I'm gonna get... Okay, I gotta turn that down. Uh, settings, audio. Maybe effects. Yeah. Nope, that wasn't it. That wasn't it. That is way too loud. I like the rain sounds. I just don't like the blow my ears off lightning bolts. Try that. Food stores are always low. Hmm. Yeah, let's get another one. So she's up there dealing with those deer. Was there another dead deer right there. Is there another one that was just gold? Lots of gold. The gold will come in handy because you use the gold for the markets. So we'll be able to make some cash that way. I don't see... Oh yeah, there's some, there's some stuff over here. Also, it's a it's a triple chevron deer. There's so lots of deer over here. Okay, okay. That would be good. So they're a little ways away from town. That might be a bit of an issue. I guess we could technically move it to where, like, they work here, but they come out this way to, to do their hunting. Um, that kind of reminds me of... Uh, what's the Paradox one? Um, the, the Colony Survival one. Where you, you mark your zones of control. I guess a lot of them do that. Okay. Betta is running this place. And we'll, I guess we'll figure out how this works. Building where household goods are stocked by a grocer and distributed to the houses, saving time for working villagers. Works also, also generate a tax revenue and increase the desirability of surrounding houses. Okay. Uh, we'll get traders in here that will come and visit me also. And I'm assuming that's what's going to... They'll go there. So yeah, that's it. Surviving the aftermath. aftermath. That's the one that has the... Um, like you build your... Kind of a central hub and you can move your stuff around. I think that's the one. Deer. Man, there's gold everywhere around here. I, th I think maybe that'll come in good and handy. I don't have any any money. Or any food, I mean. 30 people to upgrade and one more house. Let's go ahead and get the one more house. Housing house. But this is the intention of doing that so I can put a road right there. How about you, buddy? Did you get chewed on by something? Lester? What's wrong with you? He has arrows and a bow. Sword. Keep doing that. Keep right-clicking, trying to get off of him and, and controlling them. I might need to move my well. It doesn't say there's 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 buttons for desirability things. Let's look what we got here. So we got villager professions. Oh, I haven't shown this this menu before. So this is where we can adjust uh, the banished bar. You know, basically we can come in and you can select who's doing what and what jobs and all that. Uh, town info. We have most of our time is spent working. Excellent. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh, resources and storage. A little bit in the storehouse. Most of it is in the stockyard. Okay, okay. Build your happiness. We saw that one before. Low on, low on foods, what, what's making them cranky. 
They're not concerned about beer luxuries yet. Okay. Uh, we got resource. That's that one we just looked at. We've got flattened terrain button. And the exploration point. I think that's pretty much all we have. Automatic building upgrades enabled. Yeah, that's fine. That's it. What is missing range ammunition? Range combat made to be impossible at this building until more is made. Uh, but she can use her sword. She's got a sword. She doesn't need that. Maybe we should make her a Fletcher. Which I saw that before there. It takes uh, planks and, and work to make arrows. Yeah. Do like. I think I want to fit this in here. Let's get over here by the well. We still have no no food. Someone's here working though, right? Yeah, Lester's made his way over here. He must have got hit by a deer. We're down to two chevrons now. So he's going to have to run all the way back there to drop this stuff off. Is there an easier way of dealing with that? Maybe I need to put in a, uh, a storehouse closer to him. I suppose there was a root cellar we could put in also. Storage cart. Just like set this thing up so he can, he can stick around. Or maybe put something like halfway in between. We'll see what that does. And then my, uh, my my berry picker should be working soon. I'd say soon, but there's no berries on these. these. How, I, how did I change the... I can't even see that button. There it is. Go over here. So grab everything like that. There you go. So you can get those, at least get those berries brought in. Always out of food, you know. What playthrough of mine would it be if, if we had food? It wouldn't be one of mine, that's for sure. I was keen to listen um, during this live stream. The uh, the dev got asked the question of like, like, what separates this from the yeah the, the sea of other colony sims that are that are coming out? And his response was the the complexity of the soil fertility um, and the crop rotation needs and that kind of stuff. Which maybe we could do that right now. Uh, and, and needing to ooh, very fertile over here. Uh, needing to manage your your, your crops and the, the that part, uh, the trade. There's like 70 different resources or something like that in the game. Um, that was his answer. So, can I do? I don't know how big we should make this thing, so I do something like that. So clear that stuff out. We got a crop field going. Do I need anything else to go with a crop field? I guess not. Maybe someone just comes over here and just works it. I don't know if that's a big crop field or a tiny crop field. It needs to be in the green area though. We'll put let's put two of them in. Eight by eight. Needs three workers. Yields five hundred to fourteen hundred. Sure. Let's let's get some farming going. We need to, we can rearrange this road here. Praise on Dindy. Praise on Dindy.
Now, I'm, I'm a bit of a pro of fruit food management, if I do say so myself. Oh, you Don, you got himself a job as an as a, as a Fletcher. Good. I'm glad. I'm happy for you, buddy. We have so many planks. Can we have less plank makers? Maybe you should not be making planks. Let let old uh, old Drussel over there handle it. Hey, look, food stocks are low. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build. In preparation, uh, we're gonna build a um, a root cellar. And it's gonna go. Uh, ideally, we go over here by them. Then everyone has to walk over there. But if there's gonna be houses over here, I guess this is okay. Right there. She can she can pick our berries, stick them in the root cellar. Be done. So she has picked those berries as well. Um, you are just like a, a master berry picker over here, aren't you? Like rotate you around, I guess. Get over there and get those berries. Don't look now, but we have three months. Sorry, two months of food now. We're gonna lose one of them in spoilage, but that's something. Compost, yeah, yeah. Compost yard. Night soilman. Collect human and animal waste, which is converted into usable compost. Add to the crop fields to increase fertility. I like the sound of that. And no one wants to live next to that. Maybe we should, like, where should we put this thing? Ideally, it'd be over here where the farms are. We can stash it, like, way over this way. Yeah, this is the, the poo barn. Way over here. It's berries over here also I didn't I didn't catch. So when she's done with that, we'll move her over, move her over here. Let's get a road coming from this is kind of our crossroads here. Over to over to Pooh Land. Okay, winter time is hit. We got three months of food. Uh, nope, nope. Autumn is hit. Sorry. Those are leaves, not, not, not snow. Night Soilman. That's, that's a job title you don't want. I suppose it's a little classier than Pooh Master. I'm not sure I would uh, be okay with it, though. Is this field done? Are you still working on it? They're still working at uh, uh, hoeing the thing. It'll take a long time. Ideally, it gets done by the time next spring hits, and then you'll see. You'll see. We'll have so much food, you won't know what hit you. You'll uh, you'll be amazed. Okay, so to get this guy upgraded to level two, that was loud. We need thirty people. Uh, we got everything else though. We need some planks and some rocks. We got all that. We can have all that. So they just need people to get this thing to the next tier two. A uh, basket shop. Make new baskets for workers. Uh, what? What'd you do? Oh, did you get him? Yeah, she got him. Dead wolf there. I need stones. I can. Oh, stones right over here. Let's grab those. Bring those in. We'll bring in some trees over here. those haul, hauled where they need to go. How long do you stay there? Are you, you're a storage man, aren't you? I can move, oh, I can move you. Uh, why don't you go hang out, like, um, hang out over here. Oh, he's moving. Look at that. Neat. Crops ready for assignment. Okay, so, ooh, let's get complicated. All right. Crop number one. I would like. Um, what do you start with? You start with like a like a clover kind of a kind of a thing, right? We'll start with some beans. Beans are great. And then we're gonna go with. Uh, so this is that was a spring crop, which we'll get wait, next time. And then we want something that's gonna be a little more. Maybe we shouldn't start with beans. Maybe with something that has a frost tolerance. I don't know. Then we'll go with carrots. What is that? We'll put carrots at the end. 
We'll grow some some of. I'll put it over there. Oh, look at that. Soil moisture for cabbage. Look at that. It's like how complicated. Yeah, fancy. Uh, there's clovers. Used to replenish soil. Let's end with carrots. No, we can't end with carrots. Can I do like that? Clovers are going to go... Clovers are like a winter... Well, what is that? Okay. We're going to let it go. I call that good. Not sure how it's going to work. We'll find out. Mer carrot, thanks for following. <laughs> the king's official butt wiper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was actually a prestigious job as well. I wouldn't want to be the, po the, the, the poo man. Piggy over there. Uh, bushes are empty, but it's winter time now. So now, winter hits. This field's done for. I mean, we may need to hold off on this one and let this one just do its thing first. What are you missing? Lost eight berries due to, due to, due to uh, spoilage. Beto, what are you doing? Um, I still need barrels. Uh, uh, is it a fair a farrier? Is that is that the um, the the crop the um, barrel guy? Boba Fett, thanks for following. What do I not have yet? I don't have a tannery. Oh yeah, we should make. Oh yeah, we should do that. So we take animal hides, and make them in the in the pelts, uh, in the coats. So let's get that set up again over in industry land. Put it over here. We'll slap a road in this way. Okay, let's go look down the list and see if we're missing anything else. Uh, we don't have a graveyard yet. We won't ever need one of those. Uh, houses are fine. Storage. I made all of these. We have all the food production except for the fishing shack because there's no house. Uh, no fish. Um, I'm going to get a second well. And throw one kind of over on... Oh, it does green them up a little bit. I guess the, it is the houses are the only ones that actually need them. I'm going to expand houses kind of over here around the farms and around over this way. Maybe not too far this way. But we'll put one of these guys in right there. All right, defenses, we haven't messed with that yet. There's a lookout tower. Cost gold, I don't have any of that. There's fences, fieldstone walls. Oh, neat. How do these look? I wanna see one. We'll put that in there, how much so I can see it. And then decorations, and we can put all this stuff in here. I think a lot of this stuff costs gold. Yeah, so we can plant a tree, but it costs a gold. We actually have some gold. Let's put a maple in. Right there. I know I'm going to accidentally chop that down. Looking for, for wood, but it's fine. A cooper. Cooper makes barrel. Yeah, cooper is the barrel man. That's the one. I don't see that, but it, it's yelling at me as if I should have that. Um, cobbler for shoes. People can walk faster. Well, let's get let's get the let's get the rest of these done. So we get the um, the basket shop. I'm gonna need more people. These guys don't live, don't mind living next to Basket Man, so we'll keep him over here. Now I put that wall in there. Uh, let's go like from there, and then the cobbler. We'll go there. These are tree decorations. So they're not, I'm not looking forward to, uh, like, uh, 
The fancy trees. Or uh, any sort of production out of them. Just for looks. So where are we at right now along this? We're, we're in the window. Oh, here. Okay, I see where we are now. Okay. So next season, we should, we'll should start with the beans. And some carrots, I guess. Is it going to be fallow in, in there? Maybe it's a... I don't know. I'm eager to see how this how this plays out. Oh, it's, it was one of these guys we built. I didn't realize that's what that was. Okay. Come park yourself over here. Yeah. Have a stare down with this guy over here. Okay, is Poo uh, place done? Poo place is done. Uh, Adelina is is the Poo maiden, and there she is doing her job. Anyone anyone watch the show uh, Miracle Workers? Daniel Radcliffe. Good stuff. Hey Burns, how's it going? Fairy is a horseshoe guy. Okay. I knew that. That was just a test. <laughs> hey, thanks, Matchless. Do we get to grow mushrooms? I didn't, I didn't see any mushrooms on the list. A baby! And we got two new villagers have come in. Excellent. It is now year three. We win again. The rose and confrontation repre represents years. Oh, oh. Okay, so first year it's like, it's fallow. I thought, it's, or maybe berries, or um. Okay, you're right. You're right. So it's fallow. Then we're gonna have. Then we're gonna have that, and then fallow, and then okay, okay. And then we can mess. I see. I see. Can I actually? Oh, I can actually do this. I can actually add clay to it to adjust what kind of crop grows best in that. Wow, it's very sandy right now. So let's add some clay. We'll get it a little closer to the middle there, so we'll get a lot of carrots. Wow. Okay. That is complicated. Interesting. Compost is mostly that, but one of the things that we got to deal with... Um, I'm not sure if it shows up in the houses here, but one of the things we do have to deal with is... Uh, poop. Um, uh, waste from the houses. Ooh, shiny wall. Neat. Okay, we have hit. No, we haven't hit. Never mind. We need to do a big tree chopping operation. Let's go take these over here out. And we'll get some of these. Not removing the berries, right? Just yeah, just the trees. People are ecstatic now. They love this place. They got food now. Everything's great. Ooh, graphs. I missed that one before. It's grain. We uh, I guess we brought some maybe. We haven't made any of that stuff yet. There's dairy when we get cows and things. We've got goods production of agriculture. Armaments, okay. Oh uh, yeah, because I guess we're doing we're doing a Fletcher. And we've had we've had what last year we had one birth. The last twelve months. Okay. Um, let's go get some stone. I just squandered it all on that rock. Or on that, um... That wall. Grab those. I think I've got everything built. I don't think I've missed anything. Other than the graveyard. Probably should have one of these just, just for future things. Um, I mean... Where they're going, they don't need it smell. So put it over there. Hello, Jeffrey. How's it going? Not 
Too bad. I don't know. There's a button to show the fertility, but I don't know the buttons for it. With that one. I don't know. Is there a... Um, that's everything. Controls. Like there's, there's, a, I know there's toggles for like fertility and all that kind of stuff. There it is. F. Okay. Desirability is G. I don't know where I see this stuff. Um, harvest mode, toggle water. That's what we saw for the wells. Road mode, wall mode. This would all be extra handy if I knew them. Right bracket is my UI. Okay, so let's, let's look at F and G. Here we go. Oh, uh, yeah. So you think by chopping these trees, it's going to make it less fertile? You think? I'm going to... Uh, we'll see if this if this helps out. Look, it's not fertile at all over here. Over here's like this nice little green spot patch over here. There's one over here as well. Yeah, that might... that You might be right because... If they're gonna go in that kind of detail, maybe it is a good idea to put in things like some trees. Let's 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 test it. I don't have like a percentage meter or anything, but we can see it's it's less green over here. So let's put in, um, let's put in some decorations, and just throw in some trees. Uh, nice nice line of maples here, I think. And we'll see if that has any effect on fertility. So we can remember the the color of that green, and we'll see if it does anything for us. A dad joke. Uh, grandma's teeth are like stars. They come out at night. On that note, let's get some fertile soil. Uh, we also have the, that's fertile, then we also have the, what was this one? G was the desirability, where the house is going to be. Uh, over here, we're at 1820, we got to be at 30 for them to upgrade to another level. I don't know how to get there. Uh, I wonder if putting a tree in will make them happy. Or a park. Or a garden. Oh yeah, everyone, li everyone likes gardens! I don't have any room for a garden. Ooh, yeah, I can garden this little row here. But a stellar joke, something to sink my teeth into. <laughs> that joke should only come out at night. Oh, man. Oh. Those gardens need a lot of stone. It's okay, we got plenty of that. Looks like she is ready to harvest uh, back over here again. There we go. Crops ready for a time. Okay, so this one's ready to go. Alright. Is it paused? No, let's slow it down. Okay, so this one's still pretty sandy soil. I guess we gotta find something that likes sandy soil. I'm trying to remember my... I, I actually went to school, by the way, uh, for horticulture. I didn't graduate, but I went for a bit. So I know my, I know my stuff a little bit. Been a while, though, so let's not get carried away. Uh, we'll put some, some peas in there. Peas are good stuff. Um, um, there's buckwheat. I can't see put anything else in. Oh, there, okay, we'll do number, number year two. We'll do... Um, some clovers to... Uh, clovers are good at, at, at putting nitrogen back in the soil. I know that one. Um, let's get some flax. We can grow some some pants. And a little bit of rye. Oh. Then the next year, we're going to do a little bit of rye. And then, of course, it's fallow in the wintertime. And then... Some turnips. But we're going to add some clay to this soil, just because... Seems like a, a a dandy thing to do. Okay. So the trees are in. Is it looking any greener around the trees? I don't know. It may take some time.
Where are they getting that clay from? Um, uh, their, their pockets. Um, oh, it has, oh, I missed what that was. That's a large, that's a sand pit right there. Har harvest that resource. Can we do that? Maybe clay is showing up around here somewhere. I don't see any. It's a very sandy place. Sand. Coal. Lots and lots of gold. I don't think I can make a mine yet. Villager and two people. We got to 28. Two more and we've, and we've got it. Lots and lots of, uh, of gold. I'm not sure if the market's where we get trade from or if the trade post is something that we need to do. Ooh, a shrine. A shrine to Ontinti, you say? Oh, people would love to see that. They would love it. Right here next to the market, I think. Oh, yeah. Praise Ontinti. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Need some stone, but Odinti will provide. There you go. I didn't even think to look to the mountains for stone, but Odinti guided my eyes to the mountains to provide them the greatest of shrines. <laughs> hey, Ray Beans, thanks for following. <laughs> it's toilet clay. <laughs> I missed that one. <laughs> Oh, look at that. I had, um... Where we, I just saw something. Uh, overlays. G-I-F. Widgets. What's that do? Okay, there's... What does that do for us? Seven crops eaten by wildlife. Lost 80 berries to storage? Man. Okay, that's... that's and then we can see what this is... If we want to see what this is doing. Lots of info. And then we got this one, which is... Oh, my people. Oh, look at that. And then that one shows me how many... How many, um... How much sand's around, how many berries are around. Yeah. Where's old, uh, Razzle Dazzle? Our first villager. We know. So Dazzle might be dead. We do on professions. We have so I have four. I have five laborers. Okay, two builders. It kind of manages itself, it seems. <laughs> that's a whole, yeah, it's a whole pie missing over there. You're right. Outrageous. How dare, how dare they? <laughs> Two more people. We're about to hit winter time. Uh, look how much food we have. I'd like to note. We did it. We made it without without a panic in the winter time. I'm gonna keep an eye on this and see how it goes. So we got like fertility, weed level, and rockiness. Impacts our our yield. A lot of weeds around, and I kind of want to see that screen again so I can see what what crops do things. I'm assuming some of these crops take care of weediness. I don't know how to see him though now. There it is. There it is. So turnips. Is that my face? Okay. Um, so they, they lower fertility. They they make weeds worse. I think that's what I have to try and say. Um, I'm not sure if that's a good thing. Or not. Actually, I'm not sure which way it goes. Overall, we're having lots of negative factors. But what if we look at... What's the other one? This one's got a bunch of... Peas? Oh, well, cabbage. Cabbage here. Cabbage is current. That just shows us what we're getting out of it. It doesn't show what... What the... 
close plants are doing for the weeds. So we'll have to see. I know, like, clovers are like the the organic farmers, like miracle crop because they go in, they 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 add nutrients to the soil, they 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 press out or they 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 smother weeds, good stuff. Plant them early in the spring, till them into the soil. You get a nice nice uh, nice fertile soil for uh, planting. Twisted dew. Thanks for following. I did um. In my uh, in my unsuccessful uh, attempt at becoming a horticulturalist, um, one summer I did a thing where I went around, like we like toured a bunch of, of farms. I think they were most of them were organic farms, sort of around the area, and um, there's a sizable like Amish um, and Mennonite population around here, and, and we went to tour one of them, uh, one or two of them actually, and that was sort of their thing as well. Start with start with the clovers. Ooh, Ontinti's shrine is almost here. I'm sure there's other things I could spend my money on, but I'm gonna get real close here. But yeah, look how close we can get in this. This is pretty cool. I throw their coats on when it gets cold. Who's that? Old Drussel. He's in a hurry. He's such a hurry. He runs through fences. There's supplies on here. Yeah, there's some pelts and some tallow on here, which I haven't even, I don't have anything with tallow yet. I don't think it's changed anything. Not yet, anyway. I did a little test game with this, just to make sure that, uh, you know, graphics, right? Now. I knew what I was doing and all that. And um, I played in the, the Alpine map. And it was it was very hilly. Um, basically, I was started out in like a little valley, kind of stuck in a bunch of mountains. It was kind of cool. Cool start. Hey, a card. Um, I almost did it for this one, but I just wanted to try the the random out and see what we got. I think these. Is that my? Uh, oh, you're chopping logs and taking them and you're dropping them off over there, aren't you? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then people are coming to grab them from there and then carry them wherever they want to go. I know one thing that has been mentioned, that was also mentioned on that dev stream, was uh, carts and, um, like, cart stations is going to be, is a future thing for later stuff. So, like, we can have a station over here and then a wagon that runs the stuff to the center of town or whatever. Because, of course, by the end of the stream, you're going to have hundreds, maybe a thousand people in your town here. No husbandry yet. Uh, I... I think that's all. Well, that's bakery level tier stuff. Uh, tier two. There's a barn. Tier two. Arborist. Work on this building. Maintain and harvest fruit trees nearby. Cheesemaker is tier three. Oh, I got thirty-two. Look at that. So let's upgrade. I need planks and stone. My plank makers who are going. I've. Oh, it's firewood. Firewood is. It's just out of control. Okay, Emma. Take it easy. We do need two... We need plankers. More plankers. I, I fired... I'm sorry, I forgot I, I fired uh, with my, my planker. Let's get a third planker in there. You make two planks out of one wood. And we'll do a little bit of chopping. I, I'm kind of worried about chopping these trees over here because this is where my, my animals are. I want to run them off. It's like, there's still a boar over here. So I'm, I'm cautious about plant, uh, chopping those trees down, but we'll chop these ones out. And those over there. Hopefully we get some planks made, because we're going to need them for the the upgrade. Somebody's really ringing that bell. Is that like a bush we can chop down? There's some rocks. I think we got them all marked. We just need people to work. Uh, they contacted. They contacted me. Perk the perks of YouTube life. Yeah, I'm very thankful that they uh, they pestered me for to let me show this off. I think only a few folks got access to this thing, and um, they were kind enough to let me have a go at it. 
guy has one passion, it's to ring that bell. <laughs> so we're up to, we're on to, what are these? Clovers, we're on clovers. So, I don't know. I'm not really quite sure how to, how to read this thing. I mean, it's, see, does that mean it's trending down or it is down? I don't know. Oh, hey, found it. Okay. Okay, there it is. Weed suppression. Okay. So, like, if we have we have a lot of bad weeds in here, so we want to put in some clovers. Am I right about this? Weed weed suppression six out of ten. Wheat weed suppression two out of ten. We don't want that. Okay. Weed suppression four out of ten. Two out of ten. Three out of ten. Uh, seven out of ten for the for rye. Rye apparently is a good is good stuff. Ooh, ten out of ten for buckwheat. Okay. So these will help lower the weed levels. This one impacts fertility by plus five. I uh, see. I I knew the game has has uh, <laughs> has, has uh, made me feel better. Um. So yeah, so these are all going to lower fertility over time, but the, the clover is going to go in there and raise it. Buckwheat is good stuff as well. It's kind of a organic thing also. Um, not the best, I guess, for fertility anyway. I'm not sure. Yeah, we have like rockiness resilience. What do we do? Like, can you lower the rocks? What is this one? Sending farmers to perform field maintenance instead of growing crops to provide a chance to reduce weed levels and remove rocks from fields. There you go. So we set this in here. Like, like can we say it here? Year three. Go get some rocks out of there. Okay. This is neat. I like this a lot. This is really cool. Sorry, I try to I try to keep my opinions to myself, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna let them let them fly today. Uh. Room for, room for rye there. Put some clovers in. We love clovers. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Beans, legumes are a very good fertility thing as well. Scurvy? Oh, no. Um, where is... Well, if he didn't let all the berries rot, you wouldn't have that problem. Um, I think I turned off my overlay that showed all these these things. I don't remember which one it was, though. There it is. Okay, so those are all no good. Uh, it's spring. Delve secure lodgings here. What's that? Eggs. Who picks up eggs? Do you collect eggs? Yeah, eggs. Not gonna help scurvy any, but let's go get some eggs. Eggs, and you get some poop over there if you want. Yeah, some lemons and limes. I'm. No, I wonder if we should cancel some of these um, these parks. I mean, they're mostly done now. We'll, we'll let them continue. A ton of firewood. Uh, let me get some more houses. Thanks, game. We're almost... Oh, this one's actually at 30. So this... That one there is... Is ready to upgrade. Not anymore. There's lightning there. 24 there. Do that. Oh. Clear that out. These guys are real lucky. They get to lay next to... The shrine of Ontinti. Look at it. It knows it was done. What? Bear's chewing on my house? What are you doing that for? We'll go get him. Don't let him do that. Lester. He's out of here. Alright, Lester. Calm yourself. So as far as the RTS parts of this, we can like grab and grab, you know, and drag everyone around if we wanted to. 
Um, and the uh, like the military works works that way as well, which we haven't got there yet, but we can get you know walls and watchtowers and things. And that's one thing we we could put in is a watchtower. Find some sort of defense, maybe keep my shrine healthy. It only needs one square. Fit in right there. there go. Does that need to be made? It needs 10 gold, 10 stone, uh, 25 logs. <laughs> oh, HOAs are the worst. There's your hydrate. I'm almost out of water. There's a whole herd of deer. Oh, they're eating my crops. Oh, you know what? I know how to stop that. I know how to stop that. Uh, I'll put a wall up. I'll put up a fence. We can do a fence. Oh, there's a gate. Let's put a fence. And we're going to go like this. You dang deer. Knock it off. I see what you're doing. Ooh, new villager. Like that. Can I put a gate across the road, do you think? Not that one. I can't. Let me get this guy out of here. Um, go this way. Yeah, beat it, deer. Whoever built this road did a ter terrible job. There we go. There's no way that fence would stop a deer, by the way. <laughs> Let's just bounce over it. No problem. We got all these supplies coming in, and I guess they're going into the storehouse, right? Smoked meat. Where is all the food going? We're getting brought in. Maybe. Oh, maybe over here. Yeah, there's uh, 140 root vegetables in this place. 22 eggs. So suppose we reduce reduction per barrel, so we lose 5% more better with each barrel. We don't have any coopers though. We don't know what those are. Uh, we need 40 and 25. We're almost there. Don't harvest the bushes. How do we tell you to stop that? Yeah, don't don't harvest those. You can harvest everything else. Okay, are you back working again? Uh, let me put you over here. Okay, there's meat on the ground. Oh, you got one. You got one right there. Yeah, working that. Working those planks. What was the thing shared in my Discord about a castle? I remember. Th I remember this thing. I remember when they started this thing, or um, it was like it gone through like a couple years. I think it's in France, um, and they're building it with, um, with like all like uh, tools of the era. And someone posted it, and then now it's it's been worked on for like I think I think they started it in '97 or something, and so it's been going on for 25 years, and it's it's incredible looking. I want to go. Forget the Eiffel Tower. I want to see this castle. That they've been working on, and so they turned it into like this whole site, and I uh, just this reminded me of that this whole sawing the logs thing, and just the work that's gone into it, and the, and the um how 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 incredible it looks um, for being a, a modern castle, which is with, with like with 
Yeah, a 13th century castle thing. Yeah, it might have been Urak if it was uh, mentioned, like, a, it was like a month or two ago. Um, it might have been mentioned before then as well. But yeah, very cool stuff, seeing it, seeing how it has, has progressed after 25 years. Oh, wait, longer than that. There was one that went, um, no, there was a video that, that went, that went around, uh, around quite a bit uh, uh, of like a year or two ago. I think this, that might be the one I watched, actually. Some stones here. I want to get a stone and prioritize it. Here. This stone over here, give me that stone. Fascinating stuff. Um, I think probably, you probably just search like I don't know, modern castle France. Can I name the shrine? Oh, I can't name the shrine. Oh, outrageous. Oh, I can turn it into a level, a next a next shrine up. It is the Shrine of Wintinti. We know what it is. So these houses are, they've got that. We need a new town center. We need a different food type and an herb. I don't know where I'm supposed to get herbs from. I haven't seen seen any of those, have I? I've seen berries. We do, 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 do a little exploring. Or a whole herb. What is this? These are berries. Hmm. Maybe we should explore. Let's do, a, let's do like an explore out here. I mean, a small map. It's big. Anyone, anyone here been to that that uh, castle? I don't know where it's at. South South of France or somewhere. Here we go. Who who is that? Old Ferric. Ferric's got himself a cool hat. The bear is back. Where is he? He's running off of. Okay. It's in Burgundy. Okay. Herbs in the forest. <laughs> yes, right. Done it. Oh yeah, we already scouted it out. Lots of coal up here. Oh, it's a pretty mountainous place. Uh, what are those? More berries. Let's come up here and check this out. Spooky. Impending blizzard. I'm a little scared by that. I don't know what to do about that. Uh, we got a we got a ton of firewood, so we had no, not just stay in your houses. I think everything's fine. I noticed there's a button to call people to my to my town hall. New villager born, great. Thirty nine. Jeff, I see you're finding your way around the emotes today. Let's go send out an expedition. Let's do. Can we do like a bunch of them? It's gonna hurt productivity. This is this is probably a good thing to be doing during a <laughs> during a blizzard. What else do you do? You know, it's hard to work because you can't see anything with the blizzard. Go, just do some exploring.
in the middle in the middle of the country. I've been a YouTuber too long. Like this is a cool effect, you know, with the snow coming in, but all I can think of is how YouTube is going to compress this and make this look. <laughs> how this is going to make this look. So take my word for it. Those of you on Twitch have probably been experiencing the same thing. <laughs> take my word for it. It looks pretty. <laughs> hmm. One herb. Oh, I mean, we have... I wonder if we can get a trade post at level 2. There must be. Wagon shop, granary, cooper, a vault. So healer house, trading post. There we go. There we go. So we got to get a. Oh, we can do it now. So we'll do that, and then we can just we can just bring in some herbs, and then we've got it under control. Not that bad. Oh yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yes, that wasn't too much of a blizzard. I like to sit back and, and dream of blizzards <clears throat> when the high tomorrow is 110 degrees. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, we got those planks almost straight. So we gotta get more houses. Um, we need a school. We need a trade post and, and 125 people. Okay. Dev said on the live stream I was watching that they he had one at like twelve hundred people in town. Okay, so trade post is gonna go. I guess we'll sort of sit it over here. People will come to town. I want to make sure they see that uh, our uh, our poo pile. Make sure they know what they're getting into. Um, I don't know where to stash this thing. I kind of want houses over here, so we'll set this guy up. I don't know why I put that over there. <laughs> you guys should get rid of that wall, that, that brick thing. Let's put it like here. We'll get a road going this way. It didn't seem like it was any sort of desirable thing for houses. Before the folks have arrived, we only got one space. Um, I'll get a couple more houses in. Down to nine over here, so we can't really go any further this way because of the poo. Yearly taxes. I don't think actually we really need roads. Ooh, look at that. Probably should move this thing a little further away. We can kind of build up around here. The gardens are looking nice. Well, the grid squares and buildings, if they don't take up the entire grid, it shows. It seems like roads are, are kind of an exception where they can they can slide through the 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 occupied squares, I guess. Where? But I built a fence. Where's my hunter at? Are you doing your job? That guy right there. I'll watch these deer. He's going around the fence. No, oh, no, he got scared off. Oh, here they, here they come. I like how they sort of they they kind of like mosey in here. <gasps> what is this? Oh, he did. Look at this. 
We got a trader coming in. Cool. Ooh, look at that. It's a pretty game. Don't mind my, my, my people. They just go where they feel. Okay, the trader's arriving. I'm gonna scoot you over here. Go to my, my trade post, eh? Uh, let's take a look. Before you arrive, let's take a look at this. Can I transfer... Move, um... 60 gold over there. And then we can transfer things, I guess, to sell. We'll wait until someone gets here. Emmeline is going to work this. Let's look, I just spent an hour studying the best crop rotation for my yard. The best grass mix for outside my garden. <laughs> I'm going to start a farm in the spring. <laughs> I got really into that kind of stuff uh, a while back. I had I had dreams of having like my own farm, selling at the farmers markets. Oh, I, got, I really got into it. All right, there we go. Okay, so I have this stuff. He has. What do you have? Or is that what you have? That's my stock. Your inventory. Okay, so you have linen, linen, linen. Like the word I can't say. Linen, clothes. You do have clay. Do you have any herbs? Pottery, beans, bricks, flour, candles. That's it. I'll come back when you got something useful like herbs. I'm going to sell way above average. I'm going to sell you some coats. Try to do this. So I want. Oh, here we go. So let's move. No. Probably should put all our coats over there. Put some coats over there. And then we can trade. I don't want to buy and transfer. I think I'm going to wait a minute. No, she was right there. I see. Okay. There you go. You can have 18. There you go. 400 bucks. You can have that, can have that last one, too. Okay. Uh, I will take some linen. linen. I'm sorry can't do it. I'll take some of these. Give me 37 of those. That's too much. Give me 16 of those. Okay. Cool. Alright. Be gone with you. Okay. Keep an eye on those deer. I think he must he must have gone around and got into it. I'll probably resize it so I can have my fence continue on here. Stocks are low, are they? Starvation. Well, we got a bunch of this coming in. Uh, I guess we're level, we're level two. Let's see what we can do now. Food production. So we've got windmills, which will, um, you know, uh, grist and all that. We got a bakery, uh, a barn for cows and things, and we got an arborist for fruit trees, which probably is a good idea. And I guess that means, yeah, it's super fertile. We need clay for this.
We'll, we'll put it over here. No more scurvy in this town. Um, maybe I should buy some clay from this guy. He's still here. Um, it's pretty cheap, too. Give me... Yeah, 67 clay. So I can buy and stock this stuff. So it, what? So he can come in here and he can like. So he's selling. He's selling these clothes for far below average price. So I could stock this stuff just in the the trading post and then wait for the next guy to come along and then sell him those things at a good price. Interesting. The whole uh, anno thing going for it. Yeah, like you're just saying, it's a game like something like between banished and anno. Yeah, yeah, banished anno and none of those have. The sort of RTS mechanic, I don't think, do they? Can you individually control your, uh, what? Whoa, 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 whoa! No smoking in bed! Pretty close to the town center there. Can someone get a bucket of water, please? Oh, they're getting it. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, just get right in there. Get in that fire. Put it out. <laughs> there you go. Problem solved. All right. Um, let's go ahead and do the moon mill thing. We're making... I'm not sure what the, oh, desirability is bad. No one wants to be next to this. But we've, we're growing stuff. We're growing uh, a couple things, I think. we got wheat as we speak. So let's get this guy going. No one wants to live next to it, so we'll put it over here by the poo man. And it's next to the fields anyway, so we'll put it over here. I like that they put this as an undesirable thing. Oh, what's it need? It needs something. What is that? A tool of some kind? <gasps> Apiary? We can have bees? We were building a candle shop, an armory, a kiln, and a soap shop. Work camp is continually can you continually harvest wood and stone. I want one of those. I need a, a wagon shop first. There's the iron mine, a gold mine. That guy's leaving. Uh, the sand pit. There's a wagon shop. Transport wagons are manufactured wagons can be used by villagers to quickly transport goods from one place to another. Oh yeah, and there's a granary. Okay. I can go over here. Like that. And I'm going to put a granary in here also. I'm not sure maybe this should be near the food land. Actually, that's a good spot for it right there. There's a vault for our gold. Cooper makes barrels. Here we have a school, there's a healer's house, a pub, and a rat catcher. Well, I got those done. Uh, Cooper would help with getting stuff last, would, wouldn't spoil so much. I think it's, I think that's, that number's fine. As long as, as long as the, the spoiling number is lower than the other number, I think it's fine. We'll eat the spoiling stuff. I hope. Barn can get cattle from the trader. Bakery. I gotta get the apiary. What are that? Resources? Yeah. We have to get an apiary. Must. We might build like five of these. Ooh, there's a honey, honey bonus based on what? No good over there. 50s over, 50s over here? It's not really good. I assume something like next, next to berries or next to, you know, flowery plants, but... New. 
just put them over here, I guess. We'll, we'll stash them. 52 is not bad. 53, actually, yeah, we'll just put them right here. It has a zone like it's trying to get. I'm not sure what it's trying to get to, though. Unless it's these flowers that it's kind of highlighted here. Which makes sense. Okay. Bees. Secreto, thanks for following. I also, in my, um... In my uh, horticulture phase, I went through a bee phase as well, and I, I, I took a beekeeping class um, for like a, I guess it was like a like a month or two. I went I went to a guy's farm and and uh, studied how to how to who had bees and and donned the suit and and dealt with some bees. <clears throat> Fascinating creatures. Love it. I imagine this granary will do us some good. I'm sure this thing will do us some good. This uh, this wagon shop. Hey, wagon man is ready. Uh, do I tell you to make wagons, or do you just do it? You're stalking the wagon shop. That bear is back again. Um, I'll keep an eye on you, and if I'm assuming you're just gonna make, yeah, make make things, Loman. I did not get stung. No. There's a deer running through my houses. Can I upgrade you yet? Oh, tier, I need tier 3 time center to upgrade you. Okay. Oh, this guy's ready. Now, does it just do its thing? Um, oh. Oh, I have to actually do that. Okay. more scurvy in this town. We'll put in some peach trees. Mm. Not the most efficient. Well, not too bad. And then we've got pears. Okay, a lot of work, but we'll have a lot of fruit trees around. Hopefully that's okay. My Fletcher, is that what's going on over here? Yeah. That's my Fletcher, what's... I saw someone else that had some... What are you? You're just a storehouse and you got a bunch of arrows around. You, you think that it's out there because it's here. If I were to say take these away, you think it would not be showing there? I think I think so. Yeah, because the things that are out are the things that we actually have. Like the grain is right there, the gold is in, just laying in piles. <laughs> we're just we're so rich around here. We just put our gold in piles. Uh, there's shoes laying out there. That's cool. I love this kind of stuff. I know it's like, you know, nobody cares. It doesn't have any effect on the gameplay, but I love this little the little detail. The game does have combat. We'll get attacked by bandits and things. Uh, we could go do combat right now if we wanted to, because there are some wolves. Uh, like, I think my wolves live over here. That we could go vanquish. Um, but uh, I don't want my villagers to die. But yeah, we'll we'll have that. There is... Um, we can build walls. We can build cobbled roads now. And, uh, and palisade walls. We can eventually get to fortified walls. In the screenshots of the Steam page, it shows like a town getting attacked. There's a barracks. We can do a barracks right now. If we had 250 bucks, we could. And uh, start raising soldiers up. Uh, 
I think that would that work? Can I make that workhouse right now? That I think would be really handy. Work camp. A clay oh a clay pit, but it has to be on a clay deposit. I don't have any of those. Yeah, no clay around here. Very sandy. Um, use coal when needed. There's the weaver. Uh, we could do a gold mine and get loads and loads of gold. We know we got a ton of that around here. Um, like there's just... Uh, oops, yeah, there's a whole bunch right over there. It's everywhere. There's a double... A double... Uh, uh, whatever you call it. Chevron thing. This one seems to... I guess they'll also dig up coal. Or it's, just, it's just a gold mine, though. Let's see. Let's get some gold. Hey, Elsie. How's it going? First beehive is done. Making uh, making honey and wax. That wax we can use and go over to the candle man. And it'll give us something to sell. Uh, where was that candle guy at? Over here. here? Candle shop. Yep. Takes uh, wax and wood and makes candles. There's a lot of planks. Planks seem to be a, uh, something I'm always short on. There's an exclamation point always there. And I, I've got it set up with double. Can I, can I move? Oh, I can do a fourth. Let's do four now. Edmer can go in there. Let's get some of those things made. We still have a... Um, I guess we'll go chop these trees over here down. I don't want to like ruin my my animal hunting, but now that we're getting the crops in, I think maybe it's okay. We got a lot of root vegetables, anyways. I mean, then we've got that. We have all the trees over over here, also. It will be all right. See how we're doing on, on food. We got we got five months of food. It seems like it seems to me like there's a ton of food. 175 root vegetables, 64 beans or peas, 300 smoked meat. I have a ton of grain. It might be a good idea to get that barrel guy. But oh, we can grow mushrooms. You're six. There's our last beehive over there. Um, what do I, what do, I do with this guy? Unfilled. I guess something need, needs it. Who who needs a wagon? They'll make flour from grain, of course. I'm gonna assign that wagon to somebody, maybe. Or maybe it just runs hmm, from. Oh, the trader from this side. From this side, maybe it just runs from the storehouse. Not sure. Uh, not, no, it's not a tech tree per, per se, but it, um, there's a progression tree. Okay, so this guy's got some dirt cheap herbs. Well, right now you're talking. Give me, um, give me two hundred of them herbs. Nope, I don't have money for that. 
Give me what I can afford right now. How much do I have? Not much. Give me that. And then I'll sell you some things. I'm going to sell you some... Well, I probably shouldn't sell that. I'm going to sell you... Mm, you don't want any of that stuff. I don't have anything to sell. I can sell smoked meat, but I kind of need that stuff. Because you want to buy stone, so I'll sell you some of that. So let's... How do we do this before? Transfer items. Stock me up some... Stone. And we'll sell you, because it's at an above average price. I can sell some shoes also. That guy's dead. There's my stone guy. Carried six of them over. So we'll sell those when we can. Um, I don't have a cobbler. Did I make? I made a cobbler, didn't I? I do have a cobbler. Right. Yeah. Well, Bellamy's making them over there. She's taking uh, those, making new shoes. Let me sell a couple shoes also. You know what? Never mind. I don't. I don't want to sell too much because we're gonna have tons of gold because we're gonna make. We're gonna pull it out of the hills. Never mind. So you can have all 45 of those. Oh, that's 400 bucks. Okay, we're rich. So I'm not going to worry about that. We'll keep the 400 in here. I'm tempted to buy more herbs because they're cheap. I think we can stock them. Just for them over there. What else we needed? We needed a uh, an additional food source to upgrade. Oh, they're doing it. Hooray! This is a shelter. This is a homestead site. So in order to go to the level 3, we need 25 homesteads. I wonder about, about that. Hagover. Or, uh, is that it? Hagover? Thanks for following. More babies. There goes that guy. Everyone is like, ecstatic about this town. Uh, and then when the mill is up and running, which... I put the, did I put the mill out? I think I put the mill out. Maybe I, maybe I thought of something else. I think maybe I got sidetracked. I did, because it needs whatever that whatever that tool is um, to work it. Gears or something. Thanks, Elsie. There's a stink, stinky, stinky place. I don't know what to do, what to do about... Um, I'm guessing we'll be fine on food in a minute. In fact, we're going to go ahead and build a couple more houses. Not, that's not a hundred. That's not a house. Uh, oh, I can actually start with tier two houses now. No, I can't. That's temporary shelter. Stock the food and supplies the line workers that are far from the residence to, to work longer before returning home. Oh, hey, that's cool. That's great. It's like a little um, employee lounge up here for folks that are working. Oh, yeah, that's great. So we can like stash one over here by the farmers. And the woodcutters. Uh, we'll put one over here by the stinky folks. I'm gonna ruin those bushes there. Put it over there. They don't mind being called stinky folks. They understand. I'll stash one over here. Neat. But then we'll get some more houses. Over this way, I guess. I got 32 over here, but I got it's too steep. I can't put my houses over here. 
No one wants to, no one wants to be over here. It stinks. We we'll have to make up a new housing land. Um, I was planning on that, but it's too steep to build on, so we we'll have to figure something out. Not real desirable over here. But we'll see how it goes. Do bears climb over the fences? I don't know. Uh, we had a bear that was running over around over here. He keeps taking off those. I don't know. Um, I could try putting a fence in on this mountain to keep him out. That might might cause more problems than anything else. So oh, hey, hey, he's working. Look at my wagon's doing his thing. Not sure what he's doing. Oh, he's carrying things over over to the market. He must have grabbed some. He came from this way. So he must have grabbed some wood and, and taken it over there. Good. He's doing his job. He's also got he's got a cool hat too. Oh, I like that. A uh, dad joke. So um, my uh, my son uh, came home the other day and uh, told me he's um, he's dating a soccer player. And I told him that he needs to marry that girl. She's a keeper. <laughs> There's your dad joke. <laughs> uh, this is my... No, no one's there. But he's he's carrying supplies around to it. Excellent. Uh, how are you doing over here? Made some fruits. Good job, Nelda. <laughs> Thanks, Chris. <laughs> I do have a I do have a grown son. I have a 17 year old, and I'm terrified. One day he's gonna come home and introduce me to his new wife. <laughs> Let's chop some trees. Let's get those out of here. Uh, I can probably grab a little bit of stone also over here. There we go. Uh, so this mine over here is yanking gold out of the ground. And it's, is it coming out? It's gold ore. Uh, we want to make gold not ore. I'm assuming we do that at a resource place. Probably we need some some charcoal and oh, a potter. We need clay for that. We have we have a flax. We make that weaver thing. Gold mine, coal mine, iron mine. Um, oh yeah, the soap shop. Yeah, we need that. It takes herbs. It's very stinky. Where's the front door? I'll put you over here where the rest of the stinky stuff is. Maybe like right over here. Can decorative trees be chopped down? I don't know where we're gonna find out. We got these maples we planted. Yeah, we can. Uh, it cost me a, a gold to make them, though. Oh, hey. Um, cost 20 stone to upgrade that road? Well, let's pick one we use a lot. I guess this one. Five stone. We'll get those done first, and then we'll worry about everything else. What do you mean, no shoe colony? It's a great, great colony. So many shoes. Food stocks are low. No way. I don't believe it. 
Remember that mill I was going to make? Um, I'm going to figure out how to get it. Maybe we'll see if we, can, if we can just buy that from somebody. That'd be a lot better. I'm going to worry about making it. Still don't know how. Uh, oh, yeah, a barn. Let me get a barn in here. Lots of farm stuff going on over here, so we'll stash this guy over this way. The flu? Uh oh. Who? Mirror? Doing? Stop sticking your fingers in your mouth. Tree with herbs can continue working and have a good chance of recovery. Having open beds or at a healer can help villagers recover while reducing the spread of the disease. Oh, she's like puking all over the ground. All right, so we got to get Mir taken care of here with um, a healer's hut. Are they not desirable? They are desirable. Well, this would be perfect. It's not going to fit in there, though. I don't know <laughs> what this thing. I guess we'll throw it over here. It'll get some of the houses. It'll bring a lot of them up but closer to 30. I guess that's something. I wonder if, if I can kind of compensate for that. That desire, not fertility, desirability. Like, if I can put in some, some pretty stuff and cancel that out of it. Well, we know we can put in... We know we can put a few things in. Like, uh, gardens. Like a garden trail, for instance. I should learn to leave gaps in my town somewhere so I can fit this stuff. That would perk up a couple of them by, like, one point. Well, I guess it's giving that one four. Yeah, throw one in right there. A shoe shop? I got a shoe shop. Right over here. This one right here. Look, there's even a shoe on the door. Bel Bellany's got it. Making the finest shoes. What are you doing over here? Oh, the tannery's right there. This is our uh, our basket shop over here. Ekra's got that under control. You require a willow, you make that. Uh, I guess we have some of those because we're chopping trees. Build your cure. Hey, all right. Good. Stop barfing all over the place, Mir. There's our soap shop. That'll keep her uh, her healthy. We need to get those herbs brought in. So I don't know what to do about herbs other than just like buy them all the time. And we're out of food. We made it through the winter, but we are starving now. A little choppy. A little choppy. What do I do about food? Um, I can do another farm plot. It's fertile right there, and it's about it. Uh, there's a spot over here we can use. Let's do this. What's in the way? We'll do that. And then we'll, uh, we'll throw some carrots or something in there. I can't believe we're low on food. Oh, a granary holds grain. Well, I've, I've, I've never played a game before where a granary held grain. <laughs> it's, it's always, it's always everything. Okay, 
Uh, let's do a little look around and see if we found anything on our, uh, our, our scouting thing. We'll just forget about our food needs. Just take a little look around here and see what we, what we got. Lots of gold, lots of core, uh, coal. Lots of iron. Lots of empty berries. Uh, so there's some deer over here. We can. Oh, there's a bunch of eggs over here. I could send my my my, uh, my berry picker over this way this year. Hey, Adverbia, how's it going? Uh, I'm gonna get another one of those those foragers and have one for this side of the world. I'll squeeze you in here. And I'll set you up. You can grab the eggs. And I'll put you... Like, there's berries over here. You have plenty of things you can grab this way. Man, I have a real problem with keeping people fed. Just, yeah, make those. We don't have any fish. If that matters. Oh, good. Trader's coming in. Nope, that's my guy. Man, I feel like we're making tons of food, but I guess I guess we're not, because it says we have zero things in storage. What about you? Do you have anything? Let's see what this guy wants. What can I buy from you? I can buy a bunch of meat from you for a normal price. I can buy cheese from you. And some uh, some tallow at a good at a expensive price. I can buy cows from you. Um, I maybe I should do that. Is that built yet? Not yet. We got no food. I guess we're gonna have to buy buy some food things. Pick up some smoked meat. Buy like a hundred of it. How much money do I have? I got, I got a hundred bucks. Take that. I, I'll sell you some of this tallow. Bring in, yeah, bring in a bunch of it. We'll sell that to him. We'll buy some cheese. I have 30 bucks left, so I can't buy a cheese just yet. Some gold over there. We'll buy the cheese. We'll sell the tallow. The tallow doesn't sell for a lot, but it sells for something. What? I just saw people in running with axes. Well, hang on a second. Um. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, sorry, I'm sidetracked right now. <laughs> hang on. I don't want to buy any, any tallow. I want to sell you tallow. You, you, you're looking to sell it. I don't want to sell it to you. That's, I did the wrong thing. Okay. Uh, I will buy some cheese. Like a smaller uh, scroll here. We'll just buy like that much. Okay. Uh, well, let's ring the bell. Garrison our villagers. We do have a tower here. Can we put something in it? Oh, Lunara is already in it. Let's get someone else in there. Okay, we're going to half speed. We got to push people here. Look at this, with bags and axes. Our tower is shooting them. Mess with my guys. You see how buff they are? Oh, yeah, the town hall and this is shooting at them. Come here. Come, t come rough this guy up, ladies. We've got one down. Oh, he's got armor and, and gold.
Yeah, everybody. Um, get them. Get them, ladies. Don't let them get away. Oh, yeah, we got them. There's uh, four of them got away. Did you guys steal something? Is that what happened? Did you steal stuff from me? I think maybe they did. That wasn't very nice. I'll save some gold ore. You can have all of my gold ore. I don't know what to do with it yet. So as soon as I can get it over here, I'll sell that to you, and I'll take your 16 bucks a piece. The thing that I want is this. 300 bucks for a heavy tool. I just need one. One heavy tool. It'd be nice to have. I can get my, my uh, thing in there. Let's transfer some candles out. Anything else I can sell? I only have three tools. I'm worried about that. I have one weapon. Apparently, we dro they dropped over there. That was exciting. Have I played Grim Dawn? I don't think I ever have played Grim Dawn. I was trying to think about that when I before I was when, I, when this came in. I was trying to think about that. I don't think I ever have. So they stole... They stole 12 cheese. I just bought that cheese. 7 linen clothes. Gold ingots. and twenty. They stole 25 shoes. They stole my shoes. We killed two of them. They killed none of me. But they stole my shoes. And I, I find that heinous. Those. I was hoping you stop running away. Okay, well, we'll get the next guy. I wonder if my food has all been. Look, there's 58 in this one building. I wonder if that's what's going on. Look. Um. I would tell you to like. I guess we'll we'll leave it. Maybe I think that might, might, might be what hurt me. I built those those shelters there, and they all got stocked. Yeah, they all got stocked. Now my town is empty. Oh yeah, you can stop doing that. Crank up speed, see how far we can get here. People are a little cranky because they don't have any food. That happens. What about, what about a peg leg? <laughs> I'm sure it's 25 pairs of shoes. <laughs> but, you know, maybe not. What's over here? Oh, you. You want cows. Well, I'll get you some cows. Uh, so we're also missing something over here. Uh, my other... You are also... Uh, I'm going to prioritize you also, because I want to make sure we get this stuff done. You're not really prioritized anymore. We, don't, we can't buy cows, so forget about it. But when cows come in, we'll get you set up. Oh, that bear is... Is look at that. It's a mean bear. Am we gonna get him? Who are you? Mirror! Get him with your influenza. Oh Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh mirror. Alright. Don't mess with mirror. Ooh, look at our roads. It almost has like a. When you come to this level, it's almost like 
I don't know, almost fairy tale-y kind of um, fairy tale playset kind of a look to it. I, maybe it's just me, but you got like the the mossy roads and the flowers up in front of all the the, the buildings, the clothes lines. Yeah, they jog everywhere. They're in a hurry. Think how many shoes we can make from that one bear. <laughs> That's right. So many shoes. This is on the uh, medium difficulty. There's three tiers. This is the middle, middle tier. Okay, back up. Crank up speed here. Uh, did I set this one up yet? No, we're still working on that. <laughs> we're at 18 years. Um. 12% educated. Did I ever build a school? I didn't. 100 gold. Be perfect over here, but again, I don't know. I have to, like, fit this thing over here and see if we can try to push back the nasty. Get fluffed. Thank you for following. Or thank you for, for subscribing, I should say. Thank you very much. Honey over there goes to Candleman. Uh, Rudaria is making candles. She made 24 last year. I think let's go to houses. You have a bar of soap. You've got everything you need. Um, you are a shelter. To upgrade, you just need to get... Oh, you need... You're only at 24 desirability. We can get you 30 and you'll do it. What's the difference? So these are our homesteads. Look a little nicer. You need 65 of those upgrade. You need another food type. You need pottery. Which I don't have clay. A lack of clay is killing me here. So if you upgrade, you get larger happiness bonus from desirabilities and increased durability. That's what you get from there. But if you go up to tier 3, more housing, more people can live in there. Happy and durability. Uh, is it Illivec? Lilivec? Thanks for following. I don't have any clay out here. I haven't found any. We've, we've scoured about a little bit. There's loads of sands, but I haven't found any clay. It's berries over there. Um, we did a little expedition way over here a long time ago, and I still didn't find anything. Lots of sand. I'm guessing clay would be something that's going to be near water. We have value that. Let's do some more scouting. Hopefully we don't run into those wolves. We'll hear about it if we do. Kind of miss, miss my mini-map. Okay, that farm is done. There's the edge of this map. I'm not sure if it's going to hose everyone by ruining their jobs, but... There we go. Surely there's some clay somewhere in this place. Alright. Um, so. I think what I want to do is just going to do something like... Carrots, and then more carrots, and then... And then, um... Maybe a bit of... I'll do wheat, but we can't, we can't grind it up. So maybe some more carrots... We're gonna have bad weeds if we don't do something about the weeds. And carrots. Um. Rye gets milled. More carrots. That one. Uh, Shadow the Seer, thank you for the sub subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. Thank you very much. 
Down to one food again. We need clay for that. We need clay for that. Everything needs clay now. I can't do anything about it until I get a trader in here and we need more money for the trader. But we're, I think we'll be alright because we're going to start to get alright. Because we're going to start getting in the gold ore. Which I hope we'll, uh, we'll, we'll be able to sell. Winter time is a bad time to be out of food. I don't think there is any winter. We want like a, not a heat tolerance, but a cold frost tolerance. This guy. I can't go any, I can't go any further than that. Oh, we found that we found the wolves. There's two wolf dens over there. Made it to year eight though. There's some scouting going on over here. We found some deer and some more berries and and some some more no water. I think this must. Now that I can see the rest of the map, it this must be the 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 uh, the mountainy one. I don't know if it is if it specifically picks one of the one of those right. That's the random, or if it's just random, random. Lots of gold over there. Lots of eggs over here. The ways out. Hmm. Oh, the deer. Look at the deer. They made it. They made it in. Ah! Get away from my farm. Beat it. I can't go in here because there's... You stop it. Deer everywhere. There they come. There are more of them coming in. <laughs> yeah, I got to get that wind, that that mill going. We got to get some cash. We got to get mill, a mill going. Is there someone here? Oh, I didn't see him over there. Okay, what do you want to buy? Uh, nothing that I have a lot of, huh? You don't have one of those uh, those things that I want. You got some shoes, huh? Lots of shoes. Uh, that's cheap. I gotta buy this. Let's buy that. Buy some meat. Town's getting fried. Could sell our sword for ninety-one bucks. Don't have a barracks yet. Um, you have a bunch of tallow. I'm not gonna sell you that. I can buy it for a dollar and sell it to the next guy. I will. Next guy comes in and wants tallow. We're 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 load him up. You have herbs. Uh, do you have clay? No. Hmm. We need bears in the village deal with a, to deal with a deer, and then to deal with bears, we need wolves. Perfect. Okay. Crank it back up. play out here for a bit. Those deer are just like, they just live in there now. Oh, there might be some back here also. 
I might need to fence this one and there's a bear or a boar over here. What, which one? 94 rye, we're eating in two beans. Dang deer. There goes that guy out of here. Yeah, we'll probably have to put a probably have to put a fence in here. There's a there's a boar in there right now. Not that I have any wood around because no one wants choppy trees around here. And they're still getting eaten. <laughs> Where is it? It's still good. It's still going up. Where is it? <laughs> this done? Oh, good. Uh, this is my yeah yeah yeah. Um, I'm gonna mark you to go. I guess we'll just do like that for now. Grab a bunch of eggs in here. A bunch of stuff over here too that can be grabbed. So again, I think I think the food's gonna be. I don't I I don't know. I think maybe I'm gonna get rid of these. That one, no one's ever here. And that one, we'll keep the one. Not like a big walk, it's just right up the hill here. We'll try that and see if that, we'll see how that works. Hey, thanks brain. You get more people in town here. I don't think I got my, my food back. Um, we had an almost burned down situation earlier, but we, we, we managed it. So we'll work camp in. We'll put it up, um, go back over here. That'll chop trees and, and all that. Yeah, we know. We don't know where. But somewhere around here. We get a trader in here that wants to buy some wheat. We'll just throw all that in there. In fact, we can go ahead and mark it. Um, grain. We have a ton of grain. Let's move a bunch of grain over here. We can't do anything with it yet until we get that thing. So we'll move 500 of it into here. And where's the rest of the stuff? There's a lot of stuff in this game. Smoked meat. I was looking for for rye, but it might I guess it might be combined. Yeah, it must be. I only have fifteen shoes in town now. Gold ore, yep. Um, all my gold ore needs to, needs to go over here. As soon as we get it, we'll sell it. Um, yeah, we don't need candles, I don't think. Yet. Yeah, this is getting chowed on. I don't have the wood to, to build anything here, but here, here he is. Beat it. Hey, 
There we go. There's some new people in town. Good. We need. I think we need. We're, we're a little short on people. Hey, Agro, how's it going? How you been? Contemplating removing, removing this field and moving it over. Well, this is the best, most fertile one, isn't it? My, I know housing land. And if we want to grow, where are we gonna go? This is stinky land. This is stinky land. I kind of hose myself by boxing myself in here. We could maybe expand a little bit further this way, but not too far because of the mine over here. How many? Oh, I mean, how many? Um, how many open villages? I have? how many jobs I have available? I don't see that anywhere. I'm gonna put in two more of these because if we bring, keep bringing this stuff in, we'll keep bringing in the ore. There's 7,500 left in there, and we'll keep we'll just sell that stuff if someone wants it. It'd be great if we can just start turning it into ingots. That would require charcoal, and then probably down this way a foundry. There's the foundry. I don't know who makes those those tools. There's armor. We did I make my weaver building ever? I think I did. I forget what I haven't haven't made yet. Okay. Soaps. Smoke house. Remember, remember, I forget. So we tell, we, if we have hides, if we have clothing, then we'll know. I don't, so I don't think I did. So let's put one of those in, because we, we do have flax in one of our fields. Somewhere in here. That flax right there. Yeah. So our yield's kind of ugly right now. Um, fertility's terrible. We should probably fallow it a bit. Let's let's not do the peas. All right, remove them. We go. So we'll, we'll let it go fallow for a bit after these turnips or whatever these are. Fallow, then we'll work it, and then we'll throw in some clovers. We'll try to get this fertility back up, and then we'll we'll go back into it. Some rockiness is all. This one's actually rockiness is under control. This is actually looking okay. We've got double clovers though. Let me remove that one, and we'll put in something to keep us fed. Peas. Oh, traders arrived. Okay, tell me what you want. Do I have soap singing? No, no. My inventory, you don't want anything. How dare you? I don't have any money to give you. Yeah, the things that I have to give him, he doesn't want. Can buy clay for me though. It's pretty cheap, and we're gonna have to buy some. Transfer what we what we can. Oops. Not gonna give me much. Uh, you want my soap? I don't really want to sell that because I I gotta buy herbs. Just buy some wood from you. Or some planks. So, I'll pick up a little bit of clay. Uh, in a minute. You don't want any shoes or anything? You sure you don't want any grain? I got a lot of that. 
Got a lot of that. Tallow? I love getting rid of tallow. Sometimes it's just a small number. I'm not always worried by it, but eight. It says eight months of food stored, so I, I think that's, that's a good number. We get a um, somebody making barrels, but things will last five percent longer for every barrel. Oh, it's there. Uh, I won't get much, but I'll get a little bit. That will at least get a... Uh, well, I won't get much built. I still don't think I got enough for the school. I know. Right, everything. I got things marched to get chopped, but... Um, they're just not doing it. I have loads of things to get marked to get chopped and, and hacked, but... Nothing's happening. I think it's just like a lack of people in town. Seven people of Rivey Village, they have plans to immigrate. Will you accept them in your village? Yes, please. Too many people, we have a housing shortage. Okay, make them a house. Not real desirable out of here. Minus four over there. They don't want to live over there. Building score set this town apart from other small villages. School will help train a more efficient workforce. Well, I'm working on it. Can't you see it over there? I need one more clay and we'll have it. One short. One clay short. Man, the whole lack of clay in this whole map is is really hosing me. Watch, it probably something like clay's not a resource you gotta find. Clay is just something you just sort of dig up. Like you just make a clay pit. You put it wherever you want. I just looked at it, it just I got it wrong somehow. Put it on top of a clay deposit. Yeah, they ain't none of those. The, the most fertile area was over here. And yeah, it's got to be something that pops in near rivers. Which I still haven't found anything, I don't think. Hey, Rosby. How's it going? I got six months of food. What do you mean? Food stocks are fine. How those? We got 61 honey in there. Um, the Cooper. What was he at? Hmm. I don't remember where that guy was at. We know he's, I know we saw him. Um, oh, pub. Uh, beer and socialization can, at the boot can hold at the pub can boost villagers' happiness. I don't have any beer for them though, so that's probably not gonna do us any good. Rat catcher helps keeps rodents under control within their assigned work area. Eat around buildings that store grain, other food items. You think rats are eating our stuff? I don't got any pop-ups about that, but that could be that could be a problem. Okay, I don't have resources really to build this. It's really to go making whatever I want. Just sit back. 3x, I think, is as fast as we go. I know, I'm working on it. Irony is the opposite of wrinkly. <laughs> 
Fantastic. Keep them coming. I just want to put a fence around my uh, my field over here, but I can't even find any wood. I'm just running a little low on firewood as well because things aren't getting chopped. Um, where is... Oh, you know what? Let's see about this. I have eight laborers. One builder. I have too many of any, any things. I'll do one less farmer. We'll do... I'll take two, two miners away so we can get this stuff done here. One less sawyer. Two less of them. I want to get wood brought in. I'm missing a healer. Do I have a... a did I, I did make a... I guess I did make one of those. I do have a... Oh, that's my wagon guy. Two guards in the tower. Lots of soap. We'll do one of those. Okay. This is 11 laborers. So hopefully they will... Cut up on these trees. I wonder if I should take one of these guys and, like, and park him over here somewhere. These trees are being chopped over this way. I think I had a bunch that are sitting over here, too. Maybe we can, like, just... We'll stash him over here. Uh, where was he? You. Come hang out right over here. That way the iron guy can put stuff there, and whoever's chopping trees over here can put stuff in there. Yeah. And you're here for these guys. There we go. Look at those trees fall down. That's what we just needed to do. What do you call a mouse that swears a lot? A cursor! Mm -hmm. That's good. I think that might be on my list. <laughs> For future dad jokes. Mortal Kombat was based on a Scandinavian church song. It's a Finnish hymn. Finish him. Excellent. <laughs> These are all getting upgraded to homestead sites. Great. Uh, the only shacks, the only shacks we have, or shelters we have, are these two on the edge, and they're just just shy of it. Twenty-four and twenty-four. So maybe like a like a a, um, a garden over there. We'll fix that. I think they're three by three. I was wondering if we can fit one in here. I can resize maybe this farm back a little bit. I know I can somehow. Can I shrink it any? No. We can like, push it back a notch. Then we can fit in some houses in here. Yeah, we're one, one too big. Hey, you're 10. We made it 10 years. 10 years. We should celebrate. We should build a barracks. 250 gold. Never mind, we won't build a barracks. What my tax? I, I got tax money coming in, don't I? I'm happy because the town lacks entertainment venues, construct buildings that provide entertainment, and lack of food. So, there's 16 bucks worth of taxes coming in. What a, What kind of entertainment do you want? Oh, someone's got the flu again. I could build a pub. Um, it doesn't do a lot of good. Because... I don't have any drinks. But apparently you want it, so I'll give you one. And it can fit over here real nice. Ooh, that's good. That'll give... That'll boost these guys up to the 30s. I, I'd like to have it over here. They'll get those guys bumped up, or we can put it over here and help these. I think. Right there is good. Right there in front of our, our shrine to him, didn't he? Go to Kirit. Excellent. Was there two influenza people? No, we're good. Uh, yeah, I played Urbeck um, just a couple days ago. 
performance issues. It's it's got a little bit of uh, it's, it's got a little bit. If I zoom out anyway, looks good. It looks really good here. I'm at three x speed, and yeah, it's not the, not the smoothest. My computer isn't the newest either, but yeah, a little bit. Also, we still have uh, three week, three weeks, two weeks, two weeks until uh, early access day. What is today? We've got um, yeah, not until August, not till August 9th. So we got a while. Okay, this guy, this guy wants candles. Well, you take my candles. There you go, buddy. Um, he wants that at a bad price. He wants some some hide coats. I got some of those. No, he wants to give me hide coats. Never mind. I don't want those. Um. So loud. Linen clothes for a good price. I buy meat, but I don't want to squander my money on meat. I got 900 bucks here now, though. Buy some cheese real cheap. Heat stress. Oh, yeah. Bring those in. Uh, oh, hey, 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 hey. Cows. Cows are 500 bucks a piece. One, please. Okay. I got, I built it, right? Okay. No, I didn't build it yet. What? <laughs> uh, that's a priority. Okay. Let's, let's get that done, please. We got a cow here who needs who needs a home. Hope I didn't just squander all that. Um, I've got a basket person, but they're not working uh, fast enough. I think it's just lack of um, lack of farm stuff. I um. I took people off of jobs and, and um, had to add more laborers. Okay, look at that wood brought in. In fact, we could probably mark that up here. Let's get a third. No, oh, I can't. Two max. We got twelve more planks, and this will be done. Then we can have we can have one cow. One cow means milk. Assuming we can keep them alive. Need a lot of planks. Yeah. You can see a lot more villagers that are just out in out here now. Dehydration. Uh, Raiden, how old are you? Fifty-two. You you look like you've had a rough fifty-two years, buddy. Let me get you some water. Okay, two planks, two planks and a cow. Core, how's it going? Easier or harder than Banished? I would say easier than Banished, but more complex, I think. Uh, at least at least the field uh, issues are more complex for sure. I'm gonna I'm gonna remove this one. Let it go, let's let it go fallow for a whole year. Okay, my cow barn is done. I hear him. Set grazing. Graze over there. Herd size? Sure. Okay. 
Is he is he coming? I hope he's gonna make it over here. You think we need a fence for this cow? Feed stores zero. I'm not entirely sure what that means. I feel like it might be kind of important though. Man, I want one of these. I don't see a cow get mooed over here, unless that's what this guy's doing. Nope. She's moving poop. So we might... We might, um... We might have just squandered 500 bucks on a cow. That we didn't put in our field. But surely not. Surely he's hanging out here at the at the place. Although I don't see him. A little, a little lag whenever I scroll through the menus here. Oh, there he is. No, he's here. Yeah. There. He's just waiting. It'll, it'll be there eventually. Uh, yeah, this one. <gasps> there he is. Yay! There he is! Uh, I reckon wolves would probably be a bad idea to have over here then. I'd like to have some beef. Okay, so then... Oh, yeah, feed source 16 and 16. So, yeah, it's fine. And we've got some grain over here. He will produce, well, probably won't produce any meat and pelts for a while. Maybe some milk, though. Or maybe she will, I suppose. 200 wood all of a sudden. Yeah, your, your, uh, your uh, wolves can be pretty nasty. I guess bears can, too. We've seen bears here. Put some stone out there and get some fancy roads. And our little roundabout here around the well desperately needs upgraded. Yeah, look at that. Next to our fancy wall we've got there. Ooh, that's nice. Our house is getting upgraded. They'll be done here in three years. Uh, a hunk of clay is all we need for this school. <laughs> yeah, we should. Uh, we need to get a deer farm. We're good at keeping them in our pens. Who are you? Oh yeah, you these guys, and you sort of all auto do your thing, right? And you got sixty six logs in there. The other thing I did is I, I got I made this guy. I wonder if that helped. I think all they do is grab stuff. Yeah. I'll a couple more of them. Igra and, and Eslana can come in here. If I get four people in there grabbing stones and logs without me having to tell them to do it. That'll help out. Yeah, we're moving along. I, I think things are going... That made a big difference, just getting those, those guys in there. Still having clay issues, though. I don't know what to do about that. Still having some food issues, also. I'm tempted to go ahead and just make the bakery because we're gonna get this windmill eventually. We have so much grain. We can make bread for everyone. I'm gonna put it in. Everyone wants to live next to a bakery. Bakeries are great. I can put it there, but it's going to remove those three bushes we've got. We've got. Maybe we shouldn't do that. Oh, I can go there? Okay. Should 
furniture. The bakery's gonna go in. It's not gonna do any work. But we're preparing for it. Get some of these roads done. They walk faster on them, so we might as well get, the, especially these long ones here. Some is probably used for an upgrade as well. Trader is here. Tell me you got something good. Oh, you want some candles, do you? Well, let me help you out there, buddy. Oh, wrong one. Let me have all my candles. You can have all my gold. So much gold. <gasps> 1900 bucks. I'm filthy, stinking rich. Raider sided. No, 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 no. Please. <laughs> Please. Please. <laughs> no. Oh, and they have my thing that I want. Okay. If they steal my stuff. All right. Villagers. Uh, I'm going to pause it. We're going to go ahead and build the, the mill. We're going to stash it away from town here. So we'll stash it over uh, in the trees there, I guess. Put it over here with Bessie. I'll put on those eggs. Right there, I guess. It's a little bit of a walk. Oh, they're right over here. I see them. Okay. Um, here's how we're doing this. We're fighting them. We're not cowards. Here they come. This way. They want. They want. They want my stuff. Oh, there's one over there too. Who's it? No, it's my villager. Okay. Same team. Okay. They can't get us if there's 67 of us and five of them. You guys. That one. Get them. Get them, ladies. Okay. That guy. Uh, that guy. That guy. Come here, stand over here. I got so much money, they can't have it. Okay, all of you guys, come stand over here. Oh, we're slaughtering them, I hope. Oh, we, we destroyed them. Did we get them all? Did we kill them all? He's trying to shoot us with a bow. There's one. Don't let him get away. Oh, there's a bunch here. Get back here. You, buddy. Kelsar. Let them take our stuff. Is that Mir? Oh, look at Mir with a bow. Oh, Mir is Mir is the town hero. She kills bears. She kills bandits. This was raided. What did they take? They took nothing. We got three more coming in. Okay. We'll fight them. We lost, no, we lost nobody. They killed nobody. She has a very large stick. Lester's got himself a bow. Yeah, get him, ladies. Who's the guy with a cool hat? Loman. Right, right, right there.
He has a sword. Oh, it's Mir. Of course it's Mir. Right, you guys come here and defend this. Take, take that guy out. Really? <laughs> For a bad day. It was raided, but they got nothing. Okay. Anybody else? Anybody else want to die? We lost, we lost nobody. Oh, this is great. Okay. Okay. I'm so happy because we can now make the mill. Um, the school. Oh, we got a clay. Does that guy have any clay? You selling clay? Because I could use some. Buy more swords. Uh, there's some cheap fish here. I'll buy a little bit of fish. And I guess that's it. It's all we're desperate for. Okay, this is top priority over here. So I'm going to clean up those bodies. Mir, can you get on that? Feed them to the oxen. Yeah, take their shoes. Playing Gadonia. Gadonia's great. A typhoid? A oh, dad joke. Um, let's see. How does uh, how does Mario hold a seance with a Luigi board? Of course. There's your Mario dad joke of the day. Uh -uh. Guard builds there. Yeah, I can build a barracks. I need money. I have money now. I forgot. Thank you for reminding me. So I can build himself a barracks. We're going to pop it down. It's gonna, it needs to be by a storehouse. This is where everything gets attacked. So we're going to put it right in here. Right there. Uh, we can also put in some lookout towers. Which might not be a bad idea to have one. Like hanging out over here by the graveyard. Shoot them as they come in. If they come from that way. Yeah, we need to go to like a Picard face palm um, uh, emoji. That's gonna be a good one. These trees appear to be getting bigger. I turned that down oh, so many times. We've made 166 fruit, 170 fruit in last year. I think it's I think it's working. Fruit's coming in. I keep thinking that, and I look up there, and I start, I have no more food. So, I don't know. Uh, I can go ahead and put a fence around this. Hey, uh... Can we deal with this, please? There we go. Okay. I heard somebody coughing. The villager's feeling worse. Oh, Raiden, it's turned into mo- Oh, Raiden! Raiden, you know, it's time to just- Time to just let go. He's got pneumonia now. Poor guy. He was dying of, of dehydration. Oh, look, it has all the stuff like what, his, what he does in his time. Basic needs, idle, working. You stand around 27% of your day, buddy. You also travel 38%. 
could be could be a bit of an issue. Oh, they got him. They got him fixed up. Raiden, you're back. I'm just kidding. You're good, buddy. You don't need to give it up. You're great. Good. You're such a peach. Goomba me more dad jokes. Oh, man. I told you last time. <laughs> no more dad jokes. <clears throat> you Koopa this up, and uh, there will be Bowser to pay. That, 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 that doesn't work. Uh, uh, mm, I don't know. Money Mole something. This road doesn't connect to anything. I feel like it should. I accept you. Excellent. Eight new villagers. Not that we have the food to feed them, but we will. Because we're gonna get we're gonna make flour, and that flour is gonna go get baked. And then we're going to make bread. And then there's going to be so much food. Um, pathing a thing in the game? Yes, pathing is, is, is definitely a thing in the game. And I know I, my town is not very efficient. And that's probably what's killing a lot of my stuff. Like, the oh, look at the mill. Look, listen to the sound of the mill. That's cool. So it's going to produce some flour. Let's get it working here. Uh, old uh, Rona's got it. So yeah, it's... Um, a big part of this is, is the... Is the logistics... So the flour will go over to the, gr um, yeah, it's gonna go into the into the granary, and then it's go from the granary over to the bakery. So we gotta go across town basically to deal with this this whole system. Definitely not not ideal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> emote only chat. Excellent, excellent. My my favorite kind of chat. <laughs> Sure it would be great if we got uh, some we got one hunk of clay in this town somewhere. We're going to see if if we have saved the day. Of two months of food, which is like hundreds of pieces of food, but bread, we're going to get a whole bunch of grain. And I'm actually going to take this cuz I was I had a bunch over here. I think it's still over. I got 500 pieces over here. So we're going to we're going to take this away. So put that back to grain storage. Because we're going to make ourselves some bread. What a wonderful phrase. Thanks for following. I thought I turned this one. Is this one being... Oh, yeah, it's being done. Hey, look at all the wood we've, we have somehow found. I actually think maybe I need to put one more person back on the firewood spit. Or whatever it is. Kelsa's oh, Kelsa's getting old. Kelsa's getting real old. Kelsa needs a uh, an apprentice. Uh, Ariatra. Kind of go in there and learn. Kelsa's been around a long time. She's been chopping wood for for eleven years. Extreme cold temperatures, light breeze. I could go for some extreme cold temperatures right now. I'll tell you what. As thrilling as 110 is, um, I could do without. 
What's our cow doing? Is he still alive? They didn't kill my cow when they came in. I hope. I don't know how to tell if he's even in there. There's vegetables in there. We haven't produced anything. I don't see him. Maybe he's in the barn? They better not kill my cow. It says there's one. Oh, yeah. Milking. Yeah, yeah. Milk that cow. Yeah. Ooh, a wolf. Where is... Someone get Mir in here. Got him. Someone, someone... Someone's getting some new shoes today. Okay, we need a bunch of planks still. Let me turn... I can't turn this... I can't do more, can I? Uh, oh, I can't. I can't. Okay. So let's get some more saw, folks. So why was I thinking I only do two? Um, and then we'll get our bear. We'll get everything done with once that's done. I'm gonna throw a couple more houses in over here to prepare for the next group of folks coming in. Man, I didn't. I did not build this very well. Oops, it pumps ten. Okay, zero percent of desirability. Everyone loves to live there. Well, it's something. Actually, I don't know if I don't actually know if roads are really necessary. I've been putting them in there. I don't know actually if they really are a big deal for houses. So I may be able to save myself a bunch of time if I move that around. I did I do see we can move stuff around, we can relocate stuff. Like if I wanted to relocate this. Can we? With much ease? Oh, there's my cow, I see him. Her, I should say. That. Once that gets moved, well, that's just gonna be a big help. I think. Here comes another trader, I think, coming in. What you got? Oh, you got some herbs, do you? And you got some cheap herbs, too. Give me a hundred of those. I will sell you my stone that I have here. I got a few stone around. Cross lost. Oh, is it frosty? Um, nothing else selling too well. I think I might do more stone. Pretty much stone in here. We'll dump that on you. We're, uh, we finally got not broke. We might as well try to stay not broke. Eventually. I'm not sure what's using. Mine's a. Um, soldier training. Is my barracks done? Oh, I guess it's for the for the towers. I didn't think about paying these guys to pay them every every year. Lenara and Kelsar here. I mean, you get soap. What else do you want?
That bakery. Oh, the bakery's done. Comes another, another trader coming in. Uh, Fargus. Um, make me some bread, buddy. Can I get a second miller? No. Good sound there. You produced 450 flour in the last year. How much does it take to make a bread? You only have two over here in storage, so I think making another one of you isn't going to do any good. You can't really hold any more people. Can I uh, have another one of these? Let's get another wagon man. What do you have? Let's sell you some stone. You have the same stuff as the other guy. I'll buy a few more. I wonder how feasible of an idea. I think it's I think it's a big part of the game is is uh, buying stuff for real cheap and selling it for uh, a lot. Like that tallow that we had. No one ever wants. You're gonna buy my wood, do you? I got four hundred of it. I shouldn't. Uh, Maver Kane, thank you for the follow. Once I buy my shoes. Clay, there it is. Oh, those are bricks. I think I will actually move a little bit of this over. If he wants to buy it, four bucks a piece, four hundred bucks. Who might say no? We're looking at the baker and the miller next to the wheat farm. Yeah, I was trying to think if we had a good spot to put that. I think we actually do have a good spot. I could move them. Right here. That's probably a good idea. The granary's right there. It's not too far from everything. We, oh, there's a bear chasing everyone in town. <laughs> there it goes. Where's Mir? Somebody get Mir on this on this bear. Somebody got it. I'm pretty sure it was Mir. Mir's still out there working? Oh, Mir's still there. Uh, yeah, mm. this thing, no one wants to live next to it. So if we move this guy over here, that wouldn't be a bad idea. People want to live next to the baker. Even if it's just like stashed over here. And then the baker. Actually, I kind of think I like maybe the baker should be over here. I guess we could do this and it still would be a benefit. Not as much of one, but it would be a benefit. I think it needs to go. Where's the grain? The grain all goes to the granary. So we should bump this guy. Back over here also. There. Ooh. There you go, they're taking apart. Uh hey, our school is done. Ooh, look at the school. Does it have sort of a? It's just it has looks like it's it looks like it's painted. I think is what I was trying to say before. It has kind of a fairy tale look to it. Something there's something about a miniature painting, is how this thing I think is looking. Hey, Clintock, how's it going? Still live? Oh, it's late, isn't it? Yeah, it's a little late. Look at this nice looking house. What is this place? My pub. Who's burning my pub?
and has produced a whole lot of nothing in the last year because there's nothing here. Uh, I guess it can produce beer. What's it need, though? Tools needed to work efficiently at this building. I don't have any tools. I haven't made any of those. It is providing entertainment still, though. I can come in and just talk, I guess. Yeah, the, the depth of field kind of gives it that... That look. I like it. I just want, I just want to admi admire it. This with the swaying cloth. Windmills back up and running. Bakery, granary, they're all there. So, the flour should go... Or the, the grain goes into here, and then the grain goes from here to the mill. And then from the mill to the baker. And then from the baker, wherever it goes. People's mouths. They do need water for this, and there isn't a well up here. Not too close, so we'll stick a well in. This will be our first thing we have that actually has... Some efficiency. There's one down there. This guy probably doesn't need to be here. I will move him up. Let's move him up here a little bit. Yeah, has a little bit of a Grim Dawn look, huh? <laughs> One more stone, we'll get a well. Look at that baker. If there's ever a place for a rat catcher, it's going to be over here. I don't remember where that was, though. I think it was in... Services? Yeah. Take care of them rats. <laughs> Just swing your hammer around a little bit. Fixes all the problems. No one's ever here. I'm assuming people use it. But. I don't know. All these. these Yeah, this actually works out really well with this guy up here. Because all these wood tree toppers are dumping off in, on him. My barracks ever get made? Oh, it did. Give me three soldiers. So we need uh, weapons for these guys. I can make them or I can buy them. We've got a little bit of stuff. We've got a Fletcher, so we can make the arrows. Well, keep an eye on that. Um, I. What do we need for the next next level? Twenty-five houses. We've got ten. We need one hundred twenty-five people. We're getting close to that. No, we're not gonna get there though. I was about to say, rat catchers. Yeah, that's, that's always comes to mind. Mind too, the Matt Colville book. Play pit by the oxen. Where? Back up this way? This is sand. 
Venatori, thanks for following. We're going to find some place to call it a, uh, wrap this thing up and call it a day here. And I think, uh, I think our high note might be an, an attack on the, uh, on the wolves. I think it might be a good way to go out. I haven't watched any of his, uh, any of his live, any of his, um, live plays. I, um, I do watch, like, his Running the Game series. I've watched, I think I've watched all of those, actually. Um, yeah, uh, I like that. That's good stuff. Whenever, um, my, my son wanted, him and his some friends wanted to, wanted to play some D&D. And, um, no one, he wanted to DM, but he didn't really know what to do. And so I just gave him the playlist for the Matt Colville series. Per perfect starting off, uh, point. The running the game series. Gives you a starter dungeon and kind of leans you into it. I think it's perfect. We made all that money from the gold, and we just have one mine. If I... Like, we could... We could be filthy rich, because there's so much... Look at all the gold over here. There's so much gold. I guess that's, that's just how this... How this one has to go, is... Just... I think that's ca a capped. Um, is three chevrons. So I can do, like, one there. We can go nutso if we wanted to, with, with the gold. And why not? Someone wants to buy it? We will sell it to them, and we will be filthy rich. And we'll buy clay. That would be a good place for a, s a storehouse. A, uh, it was in storage, and... Oh, a vault for my gold. Right, I have lots of gold. I should put it somewhere. Log stone and planks. Where does I don't want to put a storehouse because then it's gonna get robbed. I'm gonna make a storage cart. Just do it that way. Yeah, mine exhaustion is a thing. Um, this one here has. Actually, click on the node, I guess. I saw it somewhere. It said how much it had. I don't remember where that was, but I know I know it's somewhere in here. Because it said 7,500 in that one. In that one. I don't see it now. I don't know. Now that we move those away, it should have fixed our desirability. Oh, yeah, yeah, it did. That's fertility. That one. Oh, it did a lot. Um, the cows are noisier and smelly. But this is all pretty desirable now, so we can actually set this thing up. Hey, we made five milk. 90 milk last year. The cow's really working it. Like a, a there's like a line right there. Doesn't percentage doesn't change anywhere. I'm real tired of these these animals eating my crops. Not so tired that I won't do anything about it though. A trader coming in. Yeah, there's a pig right there. All right, pig. Put our gate in. It's gonna go right. There. Get a fence. 
a road in the way. I don't know how to... I guess we can do a gate. I don't know what, how to do anything about that. I don't know how to remove roads. Oh, like that. That should, that should work. Loud. It might be nice to have a wall over here also. I haven't put anything in. But we can build uh, palisades. Palisade, and then I can get a big gate. Well, tiny gate. It won't do much, but it'll, you know, it'll look cool, and that's really all that matters. I need one to go. Oh, yeah, I could do. I could do a wall right, right here along this, except for those houses I just put in. We can have it run all along here. Which sure really does me any good. At least it'll block this side, so we can we can keep them from coming in from this angle, I guess. <clears throat> lower, uh, it'll just lower the mine screen. Oh yeah, there it is, right there. So seventy-two ninety-four left of seventy-five eighty-eight available around here. I'm wondering if since I that one's at two nodes. These are set like at one. This one's 77. This one's 14,000. 6,000 and 6,000. So I guess it could have been, I could have maybe got one and, 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 uh, maximized, um, a little better. Mine gold, mint your own money? I can, uh, at the next level. That is at a foundry. Um, here, uh, there, so I can, um, with coal as an energy source, it requires coal, gold, and I guess iron. Well, iron's gonna turn into iron, and then gold's gonna turn into gold, and gets, yep, so we can make our own gold. I missed my trader that came in. Can I get you guys to... How do I tell you to go uh, somewhere? Combat area. Here they come. They don't have any swords? They don't need swords. Look how strong they are. I really need to get them some some, some weapons. I have a sword. Who has it? I know I have a sword. I think it's real, real uh, laggy when I when I start scrolling menus. That's what probably does the most lag. Everything else seems okay. Let's get these guys, and we should get. We should get Mir over here. Where's she at? There she is. She's out hunting. Mir, come here. Let's go for a... Let's go out on a high note here. It's my bedtime. And uh, we're going to go and see what we can do. So Mir, Mir and the boys. 
are gonna go um, say hello to some wolves. They are, where are they? Where's the wolves at? There they are, in this little valley here. Okay. Okay, up that way. Okay, so I want all you guys, come here. Oh, I want you too, Mir. Oh, I can't click on you, huh? I can't have all of you? No. Try control? No. Okay, well, here's what we'll do. Can't do this without Mir. Where'd my banner go? Okay, so... Banner. And then... Mary, you gotta show these guys how to, how to do it. They don't have any weapons. So... We understandable if they, if they all die. Okay, here, deep in the woods. Can't see. Oh, they're slaughtering them. Get it, Mir. Rabies. Somebody got rabies. <laughs> Rabbit wolves. Oh, man, Mir's back at it. Mir's ready to get ready to eat. Oh, we got another den over here. Come here. Wow. Edge of the map. Got it. All right. Wolf shoes for everyone. Get on back. There we go. There's a high note. A high note if I ever saw one. That rocks look like, like a little bear. Okay, well there we go. There's farthest frontier. And, um... I'm gonna, gonna wrap it up there. Getting a little, getting a little sluggish at our uh, 100 people here. But uh, I am eagerly awaiting uh, development of this one. I'll, I will be playing this one again, I'm sure, before too long. Okay, cool. We got the level two. And there's there's four there's four tiers worth of um, of leveling. So we got we got one and two done. I think we didn't quite get anywhere else. I think did any of these get to level uh, like a 65? Nope. The best we got to 54 over there. 55. We need 65 to upgrade this thing, so you gotta really make it look fancy. You ever get bread made? I don't know. Did you ever do anything? He's made 10 bread. I think. No, he's made none. You slacker. <laughs> Forget it. There's bread in there, so someone's making bread. Alright. Let's call it a day. We'll go ahead and save this one. Uh, this is sure next stone. Um, I don't think there's anything else I can adjust here. We um, let me look at something real quick, and we'll peek in at the the starting options for the types of maps that you can do. <laughs> This one and here. That must have been. I get it must have been arid highlands, dry, desolate highlands, infertile soil, sparse pine barrens, wasteland but rich in mineral deposits. Yeah, that's got to be where I was. Hard environment difficulty. So I thought random would 
Oh uh, yeah, it is. So it generates a random map very significantly between mountains. Very loud music all of a sudden. So it does just do a generic map, but it was, I guess, leaning on the arid spot. And we've got no map. They got no water. Anyway, there's Farthest Frontier. Um, comes out here on the 9th. Thanks again, Crate Entertainment, for allowing me to show it off. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed it. And uh, I look forward to uh, I look forward to building walls and getting raided by things and making myself a castle. Look at the size of those farms. My farms were nothing compared to that. Ooh, this, there's some... Is that a house? No, I don't think so. I'm trying to, I'm trying to see if we can get some, some uh, fancier looking houses seen here. That's a cool looking town. Ooh, a statue of a, a dude on a horse. Oh, there's the there's the town hall. Real fancy like. There's some fancier houses. Ooh, yeah. Look at that. Neat. All right. Anyway. Thanks for hanging out.